Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I missed you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline, 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Way, Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. All righty, here we go. Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and on hitthatline.com. Welcome in, everybody. 866-285-4005 is how you can join us here on the McClarty Daniel hotline. And uh, DQ, if, um, uh, hold on a second here. If you'll uh, bring that uh, back up for a second. I would like to officially cap off our, our or begin our coverage of must watch. <laughs> hold on, I'll fix this later. Must watch 2024. I'm Derek Ruskin in the news center in New York. Zach Garns is here. DQ is here. Parked outside Muscleman's Instagram. Do we, uh, uh we, we should have someone parked outside of the gates at, uh, at the, the blessings, blessings looking yeah. for, uh, you know, Mayflower trucks or something. Wouldn't it be funny if the Mayflower trucks came in the middle of the night all and a little bit of snow like began to fall. Yeah. That's yeah. right. That's oh, right. I, I, and we have um, we do not have anything uh, coming from uh, from the blessings right now. It's all very very quiet. Yeah, we we have hacked into the uh, security cameras and we uh, can monitor all of the activity for the uh, the very latest on this uh, situation. Eight six six two eight five four zero zero five. First text out of the gate, please. No, this is all we've heard today. <laughs> well, it's kind of the biggest story of the year, sir. I'm I'm sorry. You know uh, when. Um, when life hands you pepperoni pizza, you know, people want pepperoni pizza, whatever that, well, I don't know, that you, analogy made no sense. And, and, and look, to make it more uh, personal, look, um, we don't have to do anything. It, it's pretty much right there in front of us. We don't have to plan. We can show up right. and, and just turn the stuff on and go. I'm going to turn this into, uh, you know, um, you know, um, you know, Buzz West. Give us some names. What are you hearing out there? What do your <laughs> friends think are going on? What do you, what do you think? Who do you think it's going to be? Huh. Let's uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's meatball this thing up here while we're at it. Uh, so um, there you go with uh, all of that stuff. And uh, by the way, uh, mm. on um, uh, on Eric Patrick Musselman. Since 2021. You two know this as we went over this in the pre-show meeting. But I don't know if this has been entered into the record yet. Into the record book yet. Uh, I, 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 hold on, I'm getting all adjusted here. I can't can't hear anything. All right. Anyway, so uh, this has not been entered into the record yet. But Muss's record in conference play since 2021 is 30 and 30. Okay. 30 and 30. And that is mediocre. Well, it, mediocre. The regular season is about positioning yourself for the postseason. And, you know, and he's he's had postseason success. This isn't. This is not about performance. This is about a guy that just doesn't want to be here anymore, and you know, it, it, several factors have played into that. You, there's no argument that can be made that any of the jobs that he was rumored to be flirting with, Louisville, DePaul, and USC, are better jobs. You, you can't argue that. This is a guy that just doesn't want to be here, and Southern Cal would offer a nice, soft landing spot back closer to home for him. And you know if that's if that's what he wants, that's fine. But um, the the how we got here is the part that's most weird to me is how we've landed at this spot where you know we've got uh, you know the the athletics director making videos, going on podcasts, and now uh, yesterday Musselman's people dropping the thing. Well, he's interviewing out there, which I I, you know, I sent it to you this morning. The first text I got at five twenty this morning was Muss is gone. 
And the second text I got was if he puts two toes on that plane, he's not coming back. Right. No, and he's, he's, he's at it. Yeah. And so I, I would think we're moving in that direction, you, but it's just how did we get here? Well, let's let's think about this. OK, let, let's walk through uh, what happened here. Uh, OK, so um, there was a, a very big piece in the portal that uh, in this past year, let's just say for argument's sake. You're, by the way, you're about to um, hear the master of couching things here over the next uh, however many days this takes. All right. But what if uh, what if there was a major prospect um, who was uh, released from a rival university and was out there in the portal to be had? And um, he didn't come here. And he went to the uh, the uh, he went to a uh, smaller uh, professional league to uh, because they could put more money up than the NIL collective did. And what if that happened? And then what if the coach became infuriated with the people who provided the NIL money after they were unable to get this um, this prospect? And then what if the people that provide the NIL money that are on the business end of this butt chewing said, fine, we're done? What if that all occurred? Could that be the beginning, Your Honor, of the end of a relationship. Well, if you didn't, yeah. if if something happened, I it's think really you, not in your control, and you get you're, you're yelled at about for Ron, it. You're talking about Ron Holland and you going to the G League, allegedly. Uh, well, yeah, uh, and and that, in that's, theory, a lot of people have, have speculated that you know, that, but that, I think that's the straw that broke the camel's back. Uh, you know, that Mike Urban was talking about him wanting tried looking to get out two years ago. How did you get to a point where you're having success? And it's bad, and you're willing to go to a substandard program with no history whatsoever. This makes absolutely no sense to me. Other has, than, it, other than, I know, it, I think his mom's still in California. If he wants to move back, if that was the goal, was to get back to Southern California, okay, I understand it. That's, um, but th th that's not the way this is shaking out. It appears to me that we have two people who simply cannot work together under any circumstances. That, that the tension is that great that it it led to, in part, to the 16 and 17 season. He wants to go, go. This is still an attractive job for somebody. Somebody will show up. I just, I don't, I, I'm just, I'm fascinated by how we got here. Where, you know, he he was, he was all in. Well, he has, um you know, two years, whatever the, he has, um he's been, um, reportedly um trying to get out of here for for a while now but the accelerant to me you can draw a line between um this really ramping up and when his deterioration or that family's deterioration with the providers of the NIL fund for that for men's basketball when that relationship fell apart that's when it really to me started ramping up as I look at this on the outside, I, I don't have any sources on the inside. You know, we live in the same gated community, but I don't know my neighbors. But I will tell you that it, it just looks to me like you can draw a line between this is when it really started to get some some momentum of him not coming back and, or trying to get out of here. It You can draw a line to the fact when he lost the relationship with the um, with um, the collective, if you will. The, the other well, collective, it's, the it's, one that's run well. It's multiple, not... it's multiple relationships, I think, that, that fell apart that have sort of led to this. But I, I think we all understand that. And, and you know, I know people that work in a building, and they've all said the same. You know, he's a colossal pain, pain in the butt to work with and for. But he also said, well, Nolan was too. Yeah. Uh, you know, if... that, that is. But when you're winning, you've got a lot of latitude. You can do whatever you want. But you start losing, and you have to answer for that losing. And you've never had to answer for anything in your life, then, yeah, you get a little testy and you start looking for ways out because you don't want to answer the hard questions. Is that a possibility? I don't know. But it just seems it just seems very odd that within a month of, of that season coming to a close, all of a sudden this is this, you know, it's a bad relationship and everything went south and he's looking to get out well, of here to go to a, a, a next level we, down job. We found out about it in the last month. It didn't well, just no, fall no, yeah, apart. I mean, that's, it, it's yeah, we happened, found out about it. It's happened some time ago. Um, and um, again, I, I have said this after, you know, and believe me, I've done a lot of um, 
done a lot of post games after losses, particularly uh, in the last couple of years during the regular season. And every single time we played a press conference from him, it was never his fault when they lost. No. And that always bothered me. And that tells you a little bit of the character of the man right there. Here's Here's a little bit. He's not irreplaceable. This is not Nolan. This is not is anybody Sutton. saying that he is. No, but I think there's this this perception that the program is going to fall off the map. He's not irreplaceable. He's a basketball coach. And, it, you know, he, he revived a program, breathed life into it. But he's not irreplaceable. Where do you go from here? If, in fact, you know, this is now if he comes back and he's a basketball coach, my goodness, we've got you and I have content to last over. Oh, boy. Football be damned. <laughs> we'll just do basketball. We'll be back in a moment here on Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands, at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free. With zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit, H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hug, Chuck. Welcome to McLarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McLarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McLarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McLarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McLartyDaniel.com. We all know breakfast is an important part of your day, but sometimes when you're traveling for business, you end up staying at a hotel that doesn't offer any. You know what happens? You grab a cup of coffee and skip the meal entirely. We've all been there. But if you book a room at La Quinta by Wyndham, you can enjoy their free bright side breakfast featuring delicious baked goods, fruit, eggs, yogurt, and waffles. And really, who doesn't want to start their day with a fresh, hot waffle? Tonight, La Quinta, tomorrow you shine. Book direct at LQ.com. Will your bracket be better than Matt Jones, Derek Ruskin, and the rest of the ESPN Arkansas team? Then prove it. Sign up for the HitThatLine.com Bracket Challenge presented by On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill in Fayetteville, 810 Billiards and Bowling in Fort Smith, and Shelter Insurance Agent Chris Dooley. Registration is easy. Just find the contest on HitThatLine.com. The HitThatLine.com Bracket Challenge is also brought to you in part by Walk On Sports Bistro, Century Bank of the Ozarks, Cafe Con Chisme, Links at Chaffee Crossing, and Foghorn's Wings. Hey, it's James Teague with the Teague Law Firm. With almost 30 years in business, the Teague Law Firm can help you with all family law matters, including divorce, custody, and child support. We can also help you with criminal law ranging from felonies, traffic offenses, DUIs, and more. Call me at the Teague Law Firm at 479-877-1688. That's 479-877-1688. Visit us online at teague-law.com. The Teague Law Firm. If we can't help you, we'll talk baseball. The one, two. He struck him out swinging. Hey, y'all, it's Crystal from Cards. Start off your new year with a new deal. Sign up for residential trash service today and get 13 months for the price of 12. This offer is valid through the end of the year. And you have to mention the Ruskin and Zach Show to get this New Year's deal. Cards is operated with our customers in mind, and we are headquartered right here in Arkansas. You can sign up today online at cardsrecycling.com or give us a call, 877-592-2737. Brothers Roofing and Restoration, a licensed and insured local roofing contractor in Arkansas. Since his playing days for the Hogs, Brother Alexander has been on rooftops many years as an adjuster. 
And in the past decade, as a roofing contractor, he knows how to help you through the insurance process while replacing your roof using only the industry's best materials. And being a lifelong Arkansan, he'll be here to stand behind his workmanship and warranty. Call 479-353-3877 to arrange a time for Brother and his team to inspect your roof. Precision Overhead Door features the finest quality materials, installation, and service for all of your overhead door needs. Fully licensed and insured with locations in Rogers and Fort Smith. Serving all of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Give them a call today at 844-PDS-DOOR or online at PrecisionDoorNWA.com. And congratulations to the team of Precision Overhead Door. Back-to-back winners of the Best of Award, Gold Best Garage Company in Northwest Arkansas, and also winners of the River Valley Precision Overhead Door. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, historic rivalries tip off with shareable bites, and every shot you take is a game winner. All season long, you're balling with 29-degree beer, courtside seats, and scenic views. I mean, where else can you pair wall-to-wall hoops with hard-to-find whiskey? Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Stick around after the sun sets. Twin Peaks is open really late. Wind down with bourbon and late-night bites. When you're looking for your next side-by-side motorcycle, ATV, or zero-turn mower, look no further than your local Wood Power Sports store. With convenient locations in Springdale, Fayetteville, and Harrison, we've got nine brands to choose from. If you can think of it, we've probably got it. These three convenient locations also provide you with outstanding service and parts capabilities. Want to know more? Visit us online at woodpowersports.com. Pick your brand, location, or shop all three. We look forward to earning your business. Wood Power Sports, a solid name you can trust. Hi, this is Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing and Construction. That small roofing company my father started 45 years ago has now become one of the largest roofing companies in America by following one rule, the golden rule. No one can install a better roof at a better price, a better warranty than Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Let our local family serve your family. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call today or visit us online at shamrockroofers.com. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. Live across Arkansas, this is Ruskin and Zach. News is brought to you by the Good Chair, because I had to have a place to sit. Get a good chair only at the stadium shop. Stop by, tell Robert Joe Bonamassa sucks, and you would like a seat in the good chair. Will he or won't he? Report surfaced yesterday afternoon that Eric Musselman was the leading candidate for the University of Southern California's vacant head coaching position. I hate him. Musselman is 111 <laughs> and 59 at Arkansas, 47 and 42 in SEC play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, baseball news. They whacked a state last night out at bomb 13 to nothing. They'll host to uh, Mississippi this weekend. I hate them. Your Ruskin and Zach <laughs> Expos brought to you by our good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479-225-8809 for all of your heat and air needs. Uh, we are in, what, what, are, what round are we? We're in the Elite Eight. The last yeah, round the Elite of the eight. Elite Eight. Right. Okay. So this is the last day of the Elite Eight. Uh, DQ, yep. do you like the non-smoking section or brunettes? Brunettes. Really? Okay. I hope they win it all. Why? Well, we had a big... I, lo- we I had love a, Brunettes. We had a couple of big upsets in mm-hmm. our other Elite Eight games. Beer lost. Yeah. And dogs lost by like a point at how the does, buzzer. How does that to happen? To football. Wow. I don't know. It was at the horn. Right. I mean... Uh, uh, DQ, do you like hamburgers or showers in the morning? Showers in the morning. 42% of you said shower in the morning. Hamburger. Oh, are you serious? Hamburger's going to move on, I'm afraid. Really? Uh, on soft pretzels, salt or mustard? Salt. 63% of you said salt. Uh, have you ever used the seven button on your microwave? Yeah. Okay. Why? why? Every time I make popcorn. What do you A s- minute 57. I don't know why. I like to put random times in, too. I, I don't know why. I just... That's what I always like. Do. If something calls for a minute, I'll put 57 in just because I feel like putting <laughs> 57 in or 27. I do 24 NBA shot clock. I've done that a few times. 77.5% <laughs> of you said no. 107. Those are your Ruskin and Zach X polls. They're brought to you by Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479 225 
zero nine. Zach, I don't do drugs. This is the spice <laughs> of my life. Is really? having random numbers on the uh, microwave clock. All I don't right? like this- when I don't like when the microwave when you press say one, mm-hmm. it automatically goes to one minute. Oh, that yeah. bugs me. Yeah. And Why? you have to say clock time because I always forget, and then I end up, you know pressing one and then the microwave just starts it doesn't even give me a warning see our so i mi- really don't take it glides <laughs> so my microwave is strange because it is a modern you know microwave but it's a throwback mm. when you hit the keypad it puts time up there it's not any um you don't have to hit cook time and then the you just yeah I you hit 45 time. start it's I, I haven't seen one like this in a since i was a kid i don't think it's a throwback but it works. Boy, it works. Boy that, my microwave runs hot. Does your microwave run cold or hot? Do you know what I mean? I honestly did not intend for this to go because your psychosis is starting to show through. Like my old, in, my, in the apartment, my microwave ran cold. So like the popcorn said two minutes, I'd have to go 215. But here the, at where I live now, the microwave runs hot. So I go like 125, 130. Otherwise, it'll burn. Oh, I guess I just, I've never noticed with the microwave about it. Yeah, some of the cheap ones, they they run, it takes you a little longer to get them ramped up, I guess. I don't know. Life sucks right now. This is also the microwave I set on fire once. So, I mean, that's another thing. That the one not... you currently have? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there was a fire in it. It was not on fire. And I got it out because that thing ignited about a second after I hit go. I mean, it was quick. What was it? It was a little plate with a little uh, oh, yeah, tin okay. foil around the room. Uh, you've said this. Yeah. IFAC Carnivore's microwave runs hot. There you go. Got to slow it down. Lower the time. Popcorn's the, the thing, right? Like, you got to... That's what really tests a microwave, in my opinion. Well, if I went two minutes on popcorn, <laughs> like, my microwave would it'd burn. It smells terrible. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm sorry I, about the I, microwave. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out. I'm going to walk outside. <laughs> And when I come back, I'm going to pretend none of this happened. Okay? Everybody cool with that? Well, it's it's this or Chris Beard. What would you rather? What do you, what do you prefer today? <laughs> Venus trephobia is the fear of beautiful women. Man, I don't have that. <laughs> Clay, man. <laughs> All right. Here it is. Uh, 866-285-4005 is how you can join us on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Uh, let's see here. We're getting, um, uh, Lurch is a uh, very upset with, uh, about what? Hunter, with Hunter Urich Jack yeah. about his, uh, shenanigans, uh, yesterday and this week and all that stuff. Um, I've heard the, uh, I've, we, I have heard from in the last 24 hours, the Urich Jack apologists, um, some of them work in our industry that said, Oh no, he knew what he was doing the whole time. It was all part of the plan. Sure. Okay. Hey, whatever you got to believe to get through the day, man. That's 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 cool with me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna yuck your yum if that's what you if that's what you have to believe to uh, get through life. Then um, go for it. As for me and my household, I still believe this is one of the dumbest uh, publicity moves in the history of college sports. The whole uh, podcast uh, situation. Anyway, <laughs> I, I I don't understand, and maybe maybe it will become clear to me. But I'm I'm on this yo-yo. This was an opportunity. What what has everybody in, in that office been griping about for months? It's the NIL deal. This was I mean this is like politics 101, PR 101. For for those of you over in the uh, in in the center, look at me. You could have spun this into the jilted lover, and and just sucked up money with a vacuum. It would have been really simple to do. You keep your mouth shut. You don't have to get out in front of this. Muscleman leaves, he leaves. Then you come back with man, I thought things were great. I think thought things were going well. Then you turn and you look at the camera and you say, you know what? We're going to do this together. We need a championship level coach and we need your help. And you spin it forward. This is PR 101. Yeah. This yeah. is politics. Again, nobody... this, is, this is how politicians get, all, how they raise all their money. Instead, you look like a buffoon because you jumped out in front of it. Nobody nobody is as one here. Uh, Musk doesn't look great. No. Uh, because, I mean, a place that loved him, he couldn't love them back. And maybe there's some deep-rooted psychosis. In, uh, you know, I have a problem with that. I have a problem accepting praise. Um, um, maybe m- m- maybe Musk has some of that going on too. I mean, I, I don't know. It, it, there's a lot. 
Let's get into this. Let's get Dr. Freud on the phone, Zach. I've always thought that there's a lot to um, unpack psychologically with a man who only communicated with his father through basketball. His father drops dead of a heart attack coaching basketball, and now he is near the same age of that man when he went. And I've always I've thought then something there's got to be something torturing this guy at some point. This is why he uh, is the way he is. I, just, I don't know. I think he's very single minded when it comes to his profession. And and his his interpersonal skills are, are not. I mean, I've seen people that have better interpersonal skills, um, like but <laughs> but he's been highly successful. So you can't argue with that. This is really I looked back at this. This is really his first taste of failure at the college level. I mean, he's a washout in the NBA, but he you know, he, he had a good year and then it, it just kind of backslid. But this is the first time he's really struggled in college. And yeah, it might shatter your confidence a little bit. Plus, if you don't have a great relationship with the people that in your athletics department, yeah, it could make it a very I, unpleasant working environment, which I totally get. But this has just been weird, the way that we have arrived here. Yeah. And and especially so, with like all the things that are starting to come out, like he's been searching for a job for two years. He was looking at DePaul. He was looking at Louisville. And I, you know, Tommy said it this morning. He said it to us. Where I mean, this is the best you could do as far as an interview goes but i don't think it is um or is it a targeted interview that he just wanted to go home i think he just wants to leave here and he wanted to do anything on the first ship out yeah okay i don't think it's about leveling up or all that stuff the winningest coach in usc history was the coach in the 40s they have the no 1940s they have no basketball 260 history. wins is the winningest coach in usc men's basketball history so they suck uh so it is not about and he's not going to be there long enough to um, you know, preside over this great renaissance uh, of uh, of USC Trojan basketball. So it's just he doesn't want to do this anymore here, and uh, you know that's that's okay, fine. His longest stop is here. He was here five years. So I mean that's well, his longest you know, stop. If you go back to uh, Rapid City, he was there for five years in the CBA in the nineties. Uh, I've, I've, I've heard people talk about you know his want to get back into the NBA. He's almost sixty years old. He's not going. He's back not to getting the, back. He's in. not he, going back to the, the game. He's, it, that's over. It's just that's not a, a team is not hiring a 64, 65 year old head coach in the NBA unless they're absolutely desperate. And it's just hey, this guy's a name. Mm-hmm. This this feels like somebody who just wants to go home, and this is as close as he could get. I know we were talking about the, uh, the, and I completely forgot about this yesterday when we were talking about it, but like the San Diego State deal. He hates San Diego State. Yeah, he went to San Diego. Right. Yeah. He hates San Diego State. Remember when they were in Maui last year, who did he get in a fight with? San Diego, San Diego State. He's not, that, that was never a thing. If this is as close as you can get, all right. I, I mean, I get it. If, that, if that's what, you know, and, and I'll be very interested when he is, but when he, when he is put on the podium and he has to answer questions. The first question should be, how could you leave an SEC job for this? No. Because it's a major step down. Also, I, I, the thing I want to know is, you're the 10th biggest brand, USC basketball, in the LA market. You're nothing. There is nothing interesting about US, USC basketball. You're behind like FCLA, the uh, the soccer team. They've got two soccer teams. They've got two football teams. A, a quick, how many hundreds of college and pro basketball teams? You're way down the pecking order. Are you going to be happy being a guy who has three people at your at your press conferences? Yeah. That I mean, it's a legitimate question. Well, Bronny James is not happy about the uh, prospect because Bronny James, uh, on news of Musselman interviewing for the job, jumped in the transfer portal. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think one had anything to do with the other. Oh, Bronny, it's fun, though, isn't it? Oh, it is it's fun. fun. Bronny's going to Ohio it's State. It's fun. He's going, that was where he was targeted to go it's prior fun. to going to SC. He made a left turn at the last minute. He's going to Ohio State. Now, um, here's, here's how I feel about uh, all of this stuff now that we've devoted 28 minutes or so to this. If he's not going to work here and it doesn't seem like he is, all right, let's move it forward. Now, who's running this search? Number one. And number two, who who you uh who you gonna get? That's what that that's gotta be the question now for uh, for Arkansas fans. Beard is uh, the first name, so it is unlikely yeah. to be Beard. Be- here's but- the here's the thing with Chris Beard. Chris Beard hasn't signed his extension yet. He's gonna play you for an extension, possibly. The He's thing, already got one sitting on his desk. But he has to sign it. Well, they're going to give him another one? But they give him a better one. Hey, you know, I could jump and go to Arkansas. You want He's to still making less here? than four at Ole Miss right now. Here's now here's the thing. The new deal. If, in this coaching search, if you have one, and nothing, nothing set in stone, but if you have one, you can't be made to look a fool. You cannot publicly court Chris Beard 
and then have him turn you down. And then it suddenly turns into you'll take anybody. Well, what you have here is um, what you used to have um, in the latter days of uh, Royals is now there are factions that have their uh, particular uh, candidate in mind. Well, yeah, everybody goes for, to the corner. But um, what you have to do is um, this um, the um, the group that is um, upset with the Musclemans and now apparently are back in business that they are apparently leaving. Um, they get a, they get the most votes here. They get one more than everybody else, I would think. But what about this? What again? Let's 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 walk down a uh, hypothetical lane here. You have a strong. Um, financial institution in Little Rock that hasn't really been in the game, but may want to get in the game mm. with NIL. And then you have this um, uh, organization up here that's been in the game, got mad, pulled their support. Now they're back in the game. If you can find a candidate that can appease both the Central Arkansas money and the Northwest Arkansas money, you Look, could be a contender and, in NIL. And you could be a factor. Sure, you could. I mean, you you any in for a basketball team for thirteen players, the NIL number isn't as big as it is for football, Splash, it, especially it, if it's split in half. Right. So it's, and, and, you know, seven and, and seven. Let's whatever. not forget it wasn't Connor Juracek that found Eric Musselman. It's Connor Nolan's dad that went, "Hey, that dude's pretty good. You might want to look at him." That was where the introduction was made. So. Let's see what I, I'm. A, I'm a, in coaching searches to strike the first name you hear. Beard is going to play you for an extension. You have to be very careful because that's a PR nightmare. Now Arkansas will walk face first into it, but you've got to. You're looking more for a profile coach. You're looking for a young up and comer who's had some success, sustained success. Not Stan Heath, one run through to the Sweet Sixteen. You need somebody with sustained success. At a mid-major or a lower Power Five conference team that's looking to make the jump, then if you get him, then you can extend him and give him the money that you know puts him you know tenth, fifteenth, whatever. And I don't know who that person is because you're also late in the cycle here. You know, if you if you you lose your coach on April the fifth or four, you know fourth, fifth, sixth, I mean you're you're into April. You've got four players on your active roster who can jump into the portal at any moment. You could have zero by the time your coach arrives. No. So you got to be really careful. I think what you have to do, here, here's how this should go, all right? Um, this is how it should really go. Now, from a formality standpoint, you know, Hunter signs the contracts, blah, 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 blah. But Juracek presents the candidates to the NIL people, and they go, yeah, they, they, go, thumb, they go Caesar, mm -hmm. you know, th thumbs up right. or thumbs down. Because whoever you hire, if they're not on board, They'll never succeed here. No, you could go no, hire no, no. God, Allah, <laughs> whoever you want. If there's not nil support, it's not the going to day work. You hire them; they're going to start working against you. Uh, yeah. If you, if you don't have the support, so now, you have to run everything by them. Here's here's the thing: <laughs> is it, you know we we're, we're getting like suggestion after suggestion. If if you support Will Wade, you can't be angry with Chris Beard. If you want Chris Beard, you can't be angry with Will Wade because both of them would have to be cleared. You've got you're going to have to do a lot of work to get those guys cleared here. Chris so, Beard's already been cleared by one SEC I, I, uh, well, program. Yeah, and but here's the thing with Chris Beard. Tell me which school, Arkansas or Ole Miss, has their NIL together? Well, Ole Miss. Ole does. Miss does. But if if he's the if he's the person that can unify Central Arkansas money and Northwest Arkansas money into an NIL, you know, juggernaut, you do the deal. If you can, if he's not if he's not trying to burn you to get more money to say in uh to say in Oxford, but that. If you could find a person that um, can unify Central Arkansas money and Northwest Arkansas money in NIL, you, you've you've got a legit chance to uh, to to do big things here. But the way, this is how I see things from this, my perspective. It's a on good this. job. It's a top three job in the league. Yes, I, I do, when it's with right a, with bottom three NIL. If you if, if you, you get the wrong it, guy, if you screw it up. Right. Yes, you will get people that will and actually that work matters. against you. That th sure that didn't does. matter sure in 07. When they got Dana Altman for a day. By the way, happy 17th anniversary uh, yeah. to Dana Altman quitting after one day. Day. Now here's your dad uh, suggesting Josh Passman. Oh, boy. The only uh, high major job he had, he failed at Georgia Tech. Well, he's no, in thank you. He's Next. In That's not what a high major job. It, it's a, I mean, what, did they, what, what conference are they in now? The AAC? That's I don't a know decent job. And you got talent right there in the city of Memphis. 
I, I don't know who to target because I'm not I'm not as well versed in this, but I know what the profile needs to look like. You need a younger guy. You don't want to hire a guy like what's, Kelvin. The, what's the age cutoff? I, I, I because I'm just well, I'm curious. I hear you know well, different. How old, how old was Musselman when he Muscle, was here? Uh, he would have been 54, 54, 55. Yeah, yeah. That would probably be my ceiling. But okay. it would have to so be a, if someone Beard's fifty one, a young fifty four, um, like a Musselman, very energetic. You know, seems to understand what's going. Beard's fifty one. You want him? Here's the thing with Chris Beard. I think he's a hell of a basketball coach. I don't know that the university wants to have to defend itself on its hire. I don't think they care anymore about that. Okay, stuff. and that may be. I, I'm not in those meetings. I, you know, if it were me, that and if I, I if I could find a better replacement or a, a guy on that level that's willing well, to come, where I didn't have to go through that, I'd probably I'd probably sign up for, for the. Guy. I'm not in the meetings either. But when they're willing to hire back Bobby Petrino to work at that school, um after uh, after firing him t- 12 years ago, I, I don't think they you, care you anymore it, about you that said stuff. it when we were talking earlier. The guy you're looking for, the profile, is you're looking for Nate Oates, the young Nate Oates. That's what you're looking for, that guy. Nate Oates isn't old. No, exactly. no, I'm, I'm not talking about Nate Oates specifically, but the Nate Oates profile. The mid-major guy who's had some success, seems to have his bleep together. He's 49. Okay. Nate Oates isn't young, but... No. I mean, that's the guy you're looking for. Nate Oates was 44 when he got the job. Okay. All right. We got some We got some guidelines here. We got some parameters. This has been a productive uh, half uh, hour or so. We'll get back to microwave talk for those of you uh, interested. Coming up in a moment here on Ruskin and Sack. Although that was the best segment we did was on the microwave. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go my gra- my grave. Feeling that way. Uh, okay. Joy Viviano, United Roofing and Waterproofing, brings you the Ruskin and Zach podcast every day. And uh, Joey works on commercial, residential, and industrial roofs. So uh, get your free consultation scheduled, unitedrw.com. It storms in the spring. You need a roofing guy on standby. Joey Viviano, unitedrw.com. Call Joey, 479 312 7369. 312 7369. United Roofing and Waterproofing. ready to upgrade your ride head on over to mclarty daniel country mclarty daniel has over a thousand used cars to choose from so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget with six convenient locations in bentonville and springdale you're never too far away from a great deal but that's not all if you're looking for something brand new they've got you covered there too with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to so what are you waiting for come on down to mclarty daniel and drive away in the car of your dream online at mclartydaniel.com QC Kinetics announces the arrival of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup, an acclaimed orthopedic surgeon with two decades of experience and extensive research in regenerative medicine. But I was one of the first orthopedic surgeons to do it, and at the same time, I integrated clinical research that's resulted in several publications that are really directing the future of regenerative medicine. I was drawn to QC Kinetics after I reviewed their protocols, and everything they were doing is consistent with my own approach. Today, Dr. Sheinkup leads the entire team of medical professionals at QC Kinetics, taking this exciting medical breakthrough to a whole new level. What we are doing at QC Kinetics is transforming lives. Get lasting joint pain relief. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. This is the future of medicine. Call QC Kinetics, 479-999-1234. That's 479-999-1234. 479-999-1234. The greatest pairings start with things that were great on their own, but when combined, you get something even better. And that's what happened when Branson and TYM Tractors joined forces. Two companies with a heritage of building great tractors combined to bring you something even better. They know you want a reliable machine that is ready to work for years to come. Branson TYM Tractors know you want a versatile tractor too. They offer many different models to help you cover ground or fit into tight places. And all Branson TYM Tractors are available with tons of attachments to help with your next job. And they know you want a tractor that is also affordable. That's why they believe in offering a tractor with all the capability of the competitors for less money. Go ahead, compare prices. You'll see the best value is a new Branson TYM tractor at Tata Motor Company in Anderson, Missouri and Tawnytown, Arkansas. I'm Paul with Tata Motor Company. Visit us online at tatamotor.com. 
For the past several years, you've been casting your votes for the best of NWA and the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater in Springdale has received many of them. Best new restaurant, best sports bar, best steakhouse, best overall restaurant, best chicken wings, and soon there will be more best ofs. Check out their event room for parties and banquets. Be sure to sign up for rewards points and follow the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Facebook. Their happy hours make it the best place to watch all the March Madness. Check them out at theallamericansteakhouse.com, then come in and see for yourself. The All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Sunset in Springdale. Hi there, I'm Sarah, and I just had to share my experience with Mosquito Joe. See, I used to dread spending time outdoors because of those pesky mosquitoes. They would always find me and ruin the fun. I would soak my daughter with bug spray, which hardly ever worked. It was awful. I finally called Mosquito Joe, and wow, it has been quite a game changer. They implemented an eco-friendly mosquito control plan customized especially for my yard. Now I can enjoy my backyard without constantly swatting at bugs and reapplying bug spray every 10 minutes. Visit arkansas.mosquitojoe.com. This is Joey Phillips, Gill Mortgage. When you're looking for a home loan, you're looking for a company that is local, experienced, honest, hardworking, and has the loan programs to fit your needs from USDA, VA, FHA to conventional. That's what you'll find here at Gill Mortgage. Stop by and see us at 816 North Main Street, Harrison, Arkansas, online at gillmortgage.com, or call us at 870-416-3755. Gill Mortgage Company, Equal Housing Opportunity, Company MLS 3274, Individual MLS 410478. All loans subject to underwriting approval. Terms and conditions may apply. Subject to change without notice. Hey Razorback fans, Alumni Hall is your ultimate Razorback shopping experience. The best and largest selection of licensed apparel for the whole family. Nike, Champion, Columbia, Onward Reserve, Peter Millar, plus Yeti accessories and gifts. Arkansas students, faculty, and military receive 10% off in-store with ID. And you can earn cash back with our Hall Pass rewards. You can get $10 off for every 150 points you earn. Alumni Hall, located next to Whole Foods or shop alumnihall.com. Alumni Hall, where Razorback fans shop. Foghorns is celebrating its 20th year in Northwest Arkansas with a new menu, new items, and new lower prices with the same fresh ingredients. Choose up to 40 different flavors of wings and tenders, always prepared fresh to fryer, or choose an always fresh certified Angus beef burger on locally made bread. With 30 to 50 TVs per location, Foghorns is your place to watch all the basketball this March. And Foghorns Happy Hour is Monday through Friday from 2 to 6 p.m. and all day on Sunday with all domestic bottles only 325 with five locations in Northwest Arkansas. Eat fresh, eat local, and ditch the chains. Foghorns, ESPN 99.5. We don't read the headlines. We make the headlines. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. I don't think I understand baseball. Who does? (laughs) Really? I mean, honestly, who does? Although I do have one note on baseball uh, mm-hmm. here on, on Ruskin and Zach, 18 minutes until the hour. I have found this year's thing. You know how every year there's a thing. Mm-hmm. And we can, you all know, some of our regulars here at this uh, bar know the thing in baseball. But for those of you, we have a larger audience today with all of the, uh, um, with all of the uh, muscleman scuttle, but yeah. Going on. So let me explain to you what the thing yeah. is with baseball. The thing is, a note about the baseball team that Brett and Troy will mention in 35 game broadcasts this season on SEC Plus. A couple of years ago, it was that Robert Moore is the son of Kansas, right. then Kansas City did Royals. You know, did, did you know that? D- Dayton right. Moore. After that, it was the story of uh, Jalen Battles getting to wear Dave Van Horn's number two. This year's notes yep. that has, and I have heard at least three times already this season is that Vahiva Aloy's bat has a dragon on it. Oh. And the dragon is just like the tattoo on up and down his left arm. Uh, DQ, he's a 10, but he has a dragon on his bat. I... Hey, now. Don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard this note multiple times. Okay. I will hear it many more times. So there it is, sports fans. Your baseball overplayed note of the year in 2024. You guys all laughed at me when I said they were going to go 49 and six or 24 and three right now. Yeah, they are. Uh, Let's see them play somebody in the league though. All right. They're boring. Of course they are. They're very yes! boring. Like the, the big thing yesterday was the two Hawaiian kids complaining about the cold. That's where we are with them. They're that good. Well, I mean, in general, playing a state in most sports is pretty boring when you're the university. No, no, no. I mean, they, like this is like a weekend but, thing. Like uh, the the Auburn series. They haven't played anybody good in the league. Now, Auburn's okay. No, Auburn. No, they're uh, they, not. 
Auburn, yeah. Auburn's ranked 23rd in the country. Oh, uh, the is, rankings. Oh, but no, they're no, no, one no, of the no. 25 best teams in the country. Look, baseball. That's is, in the opinion of people who, who don't follow, watch every single who follow game. the sport. How do they know? They because don't know they nothing. follow the sport. Teddy Cahill, who friend of the show. Ah, Teddy, 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 will still, Cahill. Teddy will still come on. I, Teddy Cahill. They're boring. They, and, and I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm saying they are really good. And there's nothing interesting about what they they blow everybody out. No, it's not interesting until the first week of June. Which means you should be scared beyond belief. It's not interesting when it gets to June because listen, uh, Hagen Smith last year had Clayton Kershaw vibes. Regular season, excellent. They get to the playoffs. He gave up eight in. I, I saw. I looked at it today. I was looking through my scorebook. He gave up eight in an inning plus in the regional. Done. That was it. Loser's bracket, and then, you know, TCU got it. So, like, he's got to get to the postseason and deliver. That's what they got to do. But yeah. we're two months away from that. So, until then, it is, um, you know, I, like, I, it, is, it is, uh, you know, dragon bat talk it, until it, then. It's funny because, like, I was talking to Phil earlier today about something else, and I even told him, I'm like, you sound bored. <laughs> I mean, they're that good. It doesn't matter. Like, Phil and Bubba are doing their the best they can to make it interesting, and they're just blowing people out. You know, I would appreciate a nice five four game that you know that, that you win in the end. That'd be fine. Thirteen to nothing's just kind of, eh. you know, it is what it is. Right. They hit, they they field, they throw, and if they don't win the national title, it will be a disappointment. They're that well, good. They're not going. But here's the thing: they're not going to win the national you, title. You and it's, Tommy, the odds are too long. You and Tommy poo pooed this, but I, I've I've made a study of this lately. They are going into this season better equipped than they have been since. Since I've started following them, like when they had Blaine Knight and Isaiah Campbell, they had two really good arms, elite arms. And then after that, it got kind of dicey. The year they had Kevin Copps, it was all they had. You know, they, they've never gone four deep in that rotation, where which has been their bugaboo in Omaha. When they get to that game after their starters, like whether it was the second Listen. or the third game, they, they, they'd run into trouble. They'd run into somebody. But now they got four guys who can shut you down. If Tiger doesn't start locating the fastball, they have three guys who can shut you down. Well, okay. And then maybe but two. still, that's one more than they've had. Maybe two. I, you I know just, what I mean? I, I look they, at, there are no guarantees. You, you're the baseball expert of all this. You should know more than anything. You can't call a championship oh, two months uh, ahead of time. Look, it's April the 3rd. There's, hear, hear me very clearly. You, right there. They're going to win this thing. Oh, Jesus they, Christ. They, they, the 49 and 7 in the race. Who got to you? <laughs> Did Mandy Hunt get to you? No. Did she get to no, you? Like, I, I'm, I'm dead serious about this. Like, there's nobody. I watched Kentucky. I was talking to Wes Rucker about this. And I was I was watching Kentucky because he's like, Kentucky's really good. Kentucky's not in the same zip code. Now, baseball's a funny game. And you can have How do we know night. that? We, we'll find out when they well, play. Exactly. We don't know if we'll, they're in we'll the same know. zip code or but, not. But they're not. They, you just look at them. And you're just, you, there's no way of knowing that. They don't you're have. You're speaking in declaratives. There's no way of knowing that until they play they in a month. They do not have Hagen Smith. They don't have anybody close. They don't have one of their first. Their okay, three they're going to lose one game. Can they get them in the they're, other two? Maybe. Their top three starters are not. They couldn't start for Arkansas. They couldn't. Well, let's find out when they play in a month. Why? Why? Let's do it on April the 3rd. Give them the ring. Book your hotel room. It's over. You're just trying to jinx them because you want them to fail. Because no! you're a miserable bastard. No! That's what it is. No! That's what it is. Absolutely you want not. them to lose. No. You know, between between Ty running Musselman out of here and you trying to get baseball to lose, you're the, this it's, is it. That's what it is. over. It's not over. over. They should cancel the season. Just hand them. Well, that'd in. be fine with me. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't like keeping well, no, up no, with all this we stuff. Got, we got, you know, we got the sponsors that sponsor the stuff, so we got to go through. This. Oh well, well, let's play the season right, out yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's a good point. That's Book a good point. Your hotel rooms. It's over, man. <laughs> this is over. You're, you're the it's worst. Just done. You're the absolute worst. Am I? Yes. Why? Because you, the guy you said is the ace in this last postseason start gave up eight. Eight. When was that? Last year. Okay, that's not this year. But what if he's Clayton Kershaw and he does it every year in the playoffs? We oh, don't know. Well, if, we don't know. Look, if he's Clayton Kershaw, we should pre be pretty dang happy. He's pretty good. Derek? The set by Matt. Here's the pitch. A swing and a pop-up. You're a terrible person. Behind first base. Jared Gates over human in foul territory. Carson Shaddy is there, too. Nobody could get to Why it. would you do this and today? It foul. It landed between Shaddy, Cole, and Gates. Ah! No! Why would you do this? It's over. Why would why would you do this on a day like today? <laughs> a day like today, everybody's nerves are already fried, yeah, and now you're gonna do yeah. this. You <laughs> it's over, man. I, I I don't know why. And you know me. 
I don't like college baseball that much. No, you don't. But I'm telling you, they are way ahead of anybody else. Well, let's see them play somebody, and then we'll, I mean, we, then we'll we learn. Agree Ole Miss the, isn't any good. We We're agree, not going to learn much this weekend. We agree that the only conference that tries is the SEC. And at, well, as, I mean, as a group. That's pretty as much a group. Yeah. I mean, the ACC has as Virginia and Clemson. That's fine. North Carolina every now and then. But as a group, I mean, the SEC is the only one that tries. Wake Forest, Florida State's good this year. Um, yeah, Florida State. <laughs> Come on. What's that guy's name? Link? Uh, yes. Yeah, the guy from Notre Dame. Link's winning it all. Stop There you it. go. It's Link. It's Link time, baby. JT says that was an asshat move. No, I, I'm telling you, yeah. you're going to win the national. Buy your t-shirt now. We've got to. Yeah, look. We've got a, we've got more people Listen. today that are on frayed nerves, wanting the latest on Musselman, <laughs> and you're here uh, crapping in the punch bowl for baseball. <laughs> no! Look, if you're one of those guys, those nudniks that wants to go get a tattoo, look at me right here, right here. Look at you, camera guy. If you want to go get a tattoo, go get it now. Get Dave, get Dave by the back of your calf. Do it. 2024 national champions. Do it. It's over. DQ, get uh, I love Hagen Smith tattooed on your thigh. <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm okay. All right, fine. Book your rooms in Omaha. Get them now. Expedia.com. They're cheap. You are, uh, you are, you are awful. Why? You're, you're a miserable person. Ugh. It's because your baseball team's bad. Don't oh, wish God, it on the are, rest of us. They are the worst. Don't, don't wish it. Uh, don't wish it on the rest of us. Pirates, huh? I haven't <laughs> lost since I, uh, since I joined on. Oh, I see. You're, 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 you're uh, doing making that move now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just I'm riding with them. I'm on a front run. For Dan and Mount Ida, you yeah. son of a. Really? <laughs> Let me get this. Here's straight. the text on the McFunny <laughs> No Hotline. Zach's kiss of death again. Uh, Corey B. Hogs by double digits, <laughs> Zach. Oh, tonight or uh, tomorrow night against Ole Miss? Absolutely. No question. No. This is. I told you before the season started. 49 and 7 would be their record. They are 24 and 3 right now. Okay. But they've they, played, they've played. I, I, I was wrong about Auburn. I looked it up. They've played five, they, they've played three good teams, and okay. they are three and two in those games. So let's see when they have more good teams. You know, Texas Tech's coming in here later. Uh, Missouri State's always trouble for them. Kentucky. Let's see then if we are talking about Derek, the same this thing. This is elite. This is the best. This may be. The you may best. be right, but this, they're this they're, might be they're the, tenth in, in in scoring in the league. With all apologies against to the bad teams. Scotty and Court, this may be the best team ever assembled on this campus in any sport ever. This team right here, they can't lose. They simply cannot lose. Robert in Fort Smith on the McCarty Daniel Hotline. Robert, I do not agree with with Zach. We've been watching this too long, and what, 1990 was the last time a number one seed has won the tournament? 99. Baseball. 1999. 99. Yep. Miami, I think. That's right. Been. Yep. We're not, we're good. But like you say, on the time we get into there, we'll start doing something stupid because look how close we were with old men. You know, Oregon State, we just can't, we can't do it all, you know. I wish we could, but. I don't think we can, but y'all have a good one, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. They're third in the league at run differential. Uh huh. That's not first. No. That's not the best. Well, they, you don't need to lead the league in run differential. How many it, runs have they allowed? Um, where where are they? In, fewer than they, uh, okay, fewer but, than they I mean, have are scored. Are they first in the league in runs allowed? My guess is yes. I don't know the answer. To I that. would be willing to bet the answer on that question is yes. If they don't score, you can't lose. <laughs> we get that <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it, it's over <sighs> well and then we'll just uh i just we'll just play this thing out just for I, s's and g's i think you I should i mean you gotta you want to collect your check each week but yeah i mean you're, you're, look the tuesday tomato can rotation that those are all wins they're not going to drop one of those those teams are terrible i looked at it i i was forced to look at it and the league's down you know, this U's lost six out of seven. They just lost to Southern. Mississippi got hammered in their midweek game. Well, they're 10th in the league in hitting in SEC play. Uh, your dad says I should be suspended. Recruits are listening. Yeah, that's true. He's got a good point there. Not nice. The whole world is watching. The whole world is watching. It's they over. have allowed the fewest runs in SEC play. Oh, really? Yes, 26. Again, I reiterate, if they don't score, you can't lose. Right. And it is uh, that is sound analysis. 
I'd like to see them play a team that's good, and then I will, uh, then I will uh, have judgment on all of this. Okay, it's over. We'll be back here at eight six six two eight five four zero zero five. Ruskin and Zach, stay with. Us. It's Wednesday, April 3rd. I'm Phil Reed. This is your 4029 News Update. Brad Martin is the winner of the Crawford County District 5 Justice of the Peace runoff. A global security and aerospace company is coming to Fort Smith. Ebbing Air National Guard Base will be a new home to Lockheed Martin. The move is part of the Foreign Military Sales Pilot Training Center. The Northwest Arkansas Black Heritage Group is collecting signatures to create a new Black Historic District in Fayetteville. The Greenwood Chamber of Commerce is holding a meeting to discuss the eclipse. They will talk about how business and people will be impacted. It starts at 1130. On the day of the eclipse, we'll have live team coverage of events happening around the natural state. Our special, the Great Eclipse, starts at 1 Monday afternoon on 4029. From the River Valley to Northwest Arkansas and everywhere in between, make 4029 your home for the best live, local, and late-breaking news. Needing an electrician? Call the pros at Mr. Sparky. All of our certified electricians provide five-star electrical work. If you have problems with an outlet, blown fuse, ceiling fan, need a panel replacement, or even a safety check, we've got you covered, day or night, 24-7. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You can trust your electrical work with Mr. Sparky. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888 sparky Spring camping season is here. Don't miss the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th at 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers behind Nukes. Sponsored by two of the state's largest RV dealers, Wheels RV and Moix RV. With brands you love like Grand Design, Jayco, Brinkley, Flagstaff, Coachman Catalina, Vibe, and Winnebago. On-site financing available plus food trucks, a variety of vendors, and bounce house for the kids. Make plans to attend the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th. 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway, Rogers. Hey, Ty Richardson for Brett and Shannon Brundage at Fish City Grill. Local Arkansans who grew up in the state and are Razorback fans just like you. At Fish City Grill, you'll taste the difference with fresh shucked oysters and their chalkboard specials. Fish City Grill and Rogers, available for curbside pickup and delivery. 479-636-8833. Come by and see their team at 2003 South Bellevue Road in Rogers. Fish City Grill, your home for all things seafood. Hi, this is Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing and Construction. That small roofing company my father started 45 years ago has now become one of the largest roofing companies in America by following one rule, the golden rule. No one can install a better roof at a better price, a better warranty than Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Let our local family serve your family. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call today or visit us online at shamrockroofer.com. Precision Overhead Door features the finest quality materials, installation, and service for all of your overhead door needs. Fully licensed and insured with locations in Rogers and Fort Smith, serving all of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Give them a call today at 844-PDS-DOOR or online at PrecisionDoorNWA.com. And congratulations to the team of Precision Overhead Door, back-to-back winners of the Best of Award, Gold Best Garage Company in Northwest Arkansas, and also winners of the River Valley Precision Overhead Door. Bounce on into Crabtree RV Center in Alma, Arkansas for the best deals on new and pre-owned RVs. Whether you're looking for a motorhome, travel trailer, fifth wheel, or toy hauler, we have them all here at Crabtree. So avoid the madness of crowded cities and hotels this summer by taking your family team on the open road with the perfect RV from Crabtree RV Center. Conveniently located at the junction of I-40 and I-49, family owned and operated since 1950. Crabtree RV Center, making your family's dreams come true for over 70 years. At Wrath Mitsubishi, we know nobody likes feeling like they've got to fight to get a fair deal on a pre-owned car. That's why we're introducing our all-new road-ready certified pre-owned vehicles. We pick the best used cars, bought locally from your friends and neighbors whenever possible. Then they get a full inspection, service, and reconditioning. And finally, we back that with a comprehensive warranty. Don't get beat up on your pre-owned car search. Hang on. Sorry about that. Road-ready certified pre-owned cars. We've got you covered. Exclusively at Rath Mitsubishi, Don Tyson and 71B Springdale, 
RathMitsubishi.com. Who can you trust to sell your home for the most money with the least amount of drama? You need a team of agents with decades of experience, commitment, and of course, tens of thousands in marketing. You need the Lindbergh team, home of Arkansas's only instant offer program. Get a cash offer on your home in only 72 hours. Lindbergh Real Estate Group is the number one team in Arkansas with over $1 billion sold and voted best of the best 10 years in a row. Serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and now the River Valley. Find out more at LindberghTeam.com. L-I-M. B I R D. A A K S Goshen Fayetteville, K two three seven G R Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. <laughs> ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I miss you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Way, Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitThatLine.com. Oh man, what? I don't know if I can talk about it. Okay, and I don't want to be that guy, but I mean, I I, I just saw something on this. Uh, as usual, we have baseball on here in the uh, in the studio. During the game, and I just saw, um, I just saw a fan that, um, well, not uh, one of your fans. Figures. Not uh, not a picture of health. Oh no. no, 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 no. We can't. Can we back this up? No. No. Okay. All right. No. Never mind. No, uh, uh, it, it, that was a, uh, as Al Bundy would say, that's an overflowing geyser of a person that I just okay. saw on there. <laughs> Holy moly! Uh, text from Abner <laughs> in Pine Ridge. He says, "Thank to- you." Get your Dave Van Horn tattoo now before others do. What do you get? His face or his autograph? No, no, you get like a profile. Like I'm thinking, like one of like the Obama portrait. Here for the people that are watching (laughs) on the stream, like one of your senior photos. You know where he's doing this? Oh, he's looking back. Yeah, and you get the number on the back says Van Horn. Oh, I see. And then number two, right? Absolutely. At the proper number for uh, Dave Van. The only, the only number for uh, for Dave Van Horn. Yeah. Um, Coquettish ingenue. That's what you do. Text in says I hate you. (laughs) <laughs> thank you was i out of line you just you are an instigator he is what he, do you mean yeah he, and he's the worst kind because he doesn't he pretends he's not an instigator <laughs> yeah i i said a month ago that they were gonna go 49 and 7 i am now after after if you lose in the regionals who the hell cares? after 27 games i am willing to tell you they are the best team in the world they are that plays, the with, world? that plays with metal bats. I'm not doing that. that plays with metal bats. You just like to that. get people riled up. I'm, gonna win. I'm not doing this. I'm, I'm walking off. If, I'm gonna I'm gonna Dan rather this stuff if, if this continues. Uh, I'm not doing this. Whatever. They're gonna I'm win. I'm not it. doing this. They're gonna win it. Uh, we are continuing our uh, coverage of Must Watch uh, 2024. Um, and, and to quote your athletic director. Um, as of right now, he still works here. Well, but, uh, that could uh, change right. very soon. He could be in international waters right now, for all we know. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on here. I think if you're a Razorback fan, your best advice is to uh, look through the uh, windshield and not the rearview mirror on this deal and um, think about um, what yeah. kind of uh, NIL plan can you put together to attract a really good candidate to be the next coach at Arkansas. That's what I would do. Because you can't, number one, uh, no coach that goes in interviews for a job comes back to where he was. So this is just a matter of, hey, here's the deal we worked up. You want to look at the gym? We'll take some pictures. Boom. That's what this is about. Okay. This this is, you can never come back here from that. Hunter Juracek needs to change the the door code right now. Like he, he, like if he didn't show up for work today, change the door code. Or like, uh, You, you are no longer employed here. Your services are no longer needed. Or like uh, like someone getting thrown out of their trailer in Rosebud, throw all their stuff in the right. front yard. Exactly. That's, That's what exactly I would do too. what I would do. But <laughs> look, $4.25 million puts you in the top 15 in the country as far as compensation goes. Arkansas can pay for a coach. Yes. If they, can get, they can get is, a lot of coaches. No, this is not about coach's salary. 
the deciding factor here is Everything what's around. the NIL yeah. connect? Well, what's the yeah, NIL commitment? Around it. What is the NIL commitment? Because you could get a guy, yeah. you could pay him four and a half million dollars to work here, but if the NIL is not and is not all in, he's not going to win. What? I mean, that's the that's the bottom line. What you don't want is a guy that, uh, that's making his last stop who wants a payday. Uh, that's not the guy you're looking for. You're looking for somebody that that wants to um, grow with you and understand that hey, there are some things that need then, to be done here. Um, and understand what you're what you're working with, and then has to be a pretty damn good coach. Um, and and, and again, the NATO's and, profile is what you're looking for. And when I talk about an NIL commitment, I'm not talking about this twenty five dollar a holler thing they're trying to throw at, at oh, the fans to guilt them into. I'm talking about whales with millions to commit to this. That's what you got to get the uh, the ducks in a row on a situation. It, it is not uh, you're 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 collected with 500 members. It's not going to get anybody to work here. Let me ask right? you. Let me ask you this. And and this was this was a serious conversation I had with somebody. Okay, so you're trying to shake people's pockets and take their money. Mm -hmm. What if you actually went out and decided to use NIL like it was supposed to and made money? Think about it this way. What if you used the what if the athletes actually were were out in in public? Do how, for instance, I'm I'm trying to think of an event that you could have the athletes pop up. Um, you know, they get up. Well, we get, had them on the uh, children's yeah, okay, so, uh, but, but Arkansas so, children's, children's radio thing. Children's thing. more like a fundraiser. But I'm thinking of oh, the shareholders meeting. I'm, I'm using that just as an example. Like if you if you went to the shareholders meeting and you put them in a, you know, in a situation where they could interact with fans, they get a percentage, you pay them a flat fee, 10 grand, 12 grand, whatever it is. You put them on speaking circuits. I can tell you right now, no, I, you know, I, I paid Nolan Richardson $2,500 for 40 minutes. Okay. I mean, you can put... The, Earn the money. Don't look for a handout. It's just an idea. Sound very Hunter you're a check with your uh, but, idea but here. Derek, <laughs> if I come to you and I say, look, I give me $5 million, or I say to you, how about I do $5 million worth of work for you? Which one well, sounds better? I think that um, I don't know if the game is played that way. You can it play isn't. it that way. It isn't. And you might not like the results. Um but um, the, the, the I don't think the game is played okay, that way. Let, let me ask you this: What if, and, and again, I'm just say you had a player the caliber of Johnny Manziel. You don't, but let's let's say you did, and he were to you know sign footballs or you know signed memorabilia. I don't know if you can do all this stuff, but I'm I'm thinking how can the how can you generate income rather than trying to shake people for it? Well, that could be part of a shakedown when you get with the you know with the um with with the collective. Maybe that's part of the uh, deal is mm -hmm. you will make yourself reasonably available for appearances and you know we'll uh that's part of the uh part of the nine month contract that we uh, sign you under or whatever uh, ethan and atkins just called a local tattoo parlor they are willing to do the dvh uh tattoo on the left shoulder blade for 65 dollars uh, make it like the obama poster that's what i want to <laughs> see right like dave in, in that like blue and like yellow tint yeah. that, that's what i want to yeah. say i got a great idea car wash no i no. I'm, I'm talking about like things where you that, that car wash uh, it's a joke this isn't a travel <laughs> ball a, team trying to get the a, nationals this is the joke. sec for crying out it's loud it's a joke <laughs> but I, i'm saying what what if what instead of just having your hand out go to these corporations and say look and the, this is another thing and, and i know this is probably not the route they want to go but there is a school that does this where they're in their football players and their basketball players are set up with internships and they're they're paid Prorated yeah, salaries okay. to work for a summer. They work for they get a skill, they they get paid a prorated salary, and and bang, you're set for the semester. And and the, the collective doesn't have to do a damn thing. Yeah. All you gotta do is set well, up all you gotta do is set up the internship. Maybe that's part of the uh deal with um there's a name for this fund. I was looking it up earlier this day, earlier today, and I can't athlete advocate consortium, the AAC. The other AAC. Okay. That's the uh, that's the that's the people that uh, apparently that's the group that is now back on board if the Musclemans leave, according to uh, the scuttlebutt. That's what it. That's what it's yeah. up. I I just and maybe part of that is you know you get to do uh, like all the things you uh, you talked about. I'm just saying I mean, I mean, you could generate instead of looking for a handout, you could generate income, and this is something you can do year over year. You can continue to do these sorts of things. <clears throat> Let's say. I don't know. Pick a let's say Walmart's got a, a company picnic or whatever. Taylor Green shows up, does two hours worth of glad handing. He mm -hmm. makes you know five grand. They hand mm -hmm. him a check for five grand, and you pay the university collective 
$25,000 to have athletes out there. I got a great idea. I'm for just a, saying. I mean, th- this is reasonable. I've got an idea for a fundraiser. Um, uh, two shows, Friday and Saturday night. Hunter Juracek stand up at the Grove. There we go. No. <laughs> How many of you are from out of town? Raise your hand, please. Hey. You know, get the uh, get the sign fill. He's in front of that brick wall. Boom, 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 boom. You ever notice that uh, everybody wants free money nowadays? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I'm just, this this is just an idea. Just, just instead. No, of- I I think it's a. Uh, I'm not poo pooing your idea, and I, I I don't know if that's not part of the way that it it's going to work moving forward. I don't know. I, it, it I sounds fine would, to me. I think you would get further with corporations if you provided some sort of service rather than just saying, "Well, give us X number. Give of us dollars. a million bucks. Give us a million please. Dollars. Yeah, please." I'm asking nice. What's the magic word? <laughs> <Yeah>. Now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. But you got to have, and I think you you have an opportunity here. See, when life happens, there's always an opportunity. This is how you have to look at things, all right? Two sides every coin. Okay, you're going to lose a coach. But what you have now is an opportunity to unite Central Arkansas money and Northwest Arkansas money into this very competitive force yeah. to be reckoned with on the NIL side. You're going to be able to pay the coach. It's not about that. It's not about salary for coaches or assistants or any of that. But if you can find the candidate that can unite both big groups Just out of curiosity, from the state. Every coaching search and hire that they've made, how many times has Central Arkansas and Northwest Arkansas agreed? It does not happen okay. very All often. Right. So, so you're 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 going to have. It to, is an opportunity. It's an opportunity to have every. But when you get too many people in a room who think they have a vote, you're you're going to get nowhere. The athletic director has to go get the best candidate for the job and then sell it to the board. I that's, want him. That's, that's here's that's what I want Hunter Urechek to do. I want Hunter Urechek to provide the candidates for the meetings with the uh, the two big uh, NIL people, and then I want Hunter Urechek to sit in the corner. And play with one of those wooden paddles with a rubber ball on a string, okay. and just stay out of the way. What if, All he can do is bleep this up. What? What? Like, if, seriously? What if you? Uh, what, remember, you know, during like the presidential debates when they have all the people hooked up to the machines, and they just every time they think that there's a lie. Yeah, or yeah, we, yeah, 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 yeah. What we'll do is we'll put the candidate in there with uh, Yurichek. They'll go through the interview process. You're behind glass. That's every right. time you think you know Hunter's winning, you, you you hit it. That's right. And if you get to a certain number, bang, you got it. Right. And if you, when you don't like what he's saying, you hit the red button on your remote and we see like a EKG real time how right. people are feeling about stuff. Um, yeah, there you go. All right. It's uh, 12 minutes after the hour here on uh, Ruskin and Zach. We are uh, monitoring all of the chatter. And mm-hmm. if anything happens, we will uh, let you know about it here on uh, Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas. Adverse suggesting they start their own casino. <laughs> That's the one thing Fayetteville does not have is a casino. So uh, there you go. Um, Now, let me say this. We've gotten this text a few times. Uh Let me say this. I don't believe the correct path is a former player with zero Division I head coaching experience. I don't believe that's the way forward. Look at Memphis. Look at Penny. Okay. And I believe it was Penny. Uh, how long was he an assistant somewhere? Uh, he, well, he was a head coach at a high school. This Memphis. has been tried with uh, with Jawan Howard, with well, Jerry Stackhouse, with yeah. Penny. Here's the other thing. Uh, this is not the path forward. But, a former player with no head coaching well, experience, was, in my was, opinion. We're talking about Ronnie. And Ronnie is a great guy. And Ronnie has a career in coaching ahead of him. Ronnie has been on that bench for a year and a half. A year and a half. I do not believe this is the path forward no, at this he, time. He coached uh, He coached, coached an AAU team prior to that, and then he's been on Muscleman staff for 18 months, maybe a little bit longer than that. Ronnie's going to be a coach somewhere down the line. Ronnie's not the guy right now that you want to take over this. This is a tempest. You, you do not want – you need a very seasoned hand taking over this job when, uh, when if and when it, it comes to that point. Yes. I do not believe at this point that is the path forward for this place. Maybe in the future, but I don't believe. He's got three straight Corliss texts. Guys, what did I just say? Well, he has been a head coach he in Division head- One. Guys, you, you want 
You want you want a seasoned coach right now. You want what South Carolina did with Lamont Paris. That's the guy you're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 14 minutes after the hour here on uh, Ruskin and Zach. I still think uh, if you just look best coaches on the landscape, you got to talk to Mulkey and uh, Don Staley. You, you have to. Jamie Van Buren says Bruce Pearl. Why on earth would Bruce Pearl leave that, which he built, for this? I mean, historically, this is a better job. Than that Who's one. got a better NIL program today? Probably Auburn All right, does. Then. But there if you go. get Bruce Pearl, you might get everybody uh, pulling in the same direction okay. in Arkansas. I don't know if you can make that happen. Chris Jans is not leaving Mississippi State. Uh, Rick Pitino. Well, oh, that'll be good. Close your restaurant. You know, they couldn't play day games mm-hmm. if Rick Pitino was the coach because vampires can't come out during the day. No, no. Only no. night games yeah, with Rick Pitino. You know, ben so. brings up a good point. Everybody aware that your check was on the, uh, the short list for the A&M AD job? Everybody knows that, right? He's trying to get out, too. God, I wish he would. Yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's trying to get out, too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, don't let him be your uh, your lord and savior. He's trying to for, jump jump for off a guy the boat. That also, like nil, a uh, and M's not your spot, big boy. That's not the place you want to go. Well, he likes to uh, do as little as possible from a delegate from a uh, management standpoint. Oh man! So letting all the uh, people, uh, you know, all the oil men run the program, and he just sits back and you know makes videos of cheering when they win. I mean, he could handle that at a And M. You think you would be uh, Mulkey's consultant on ga- game day dress wear? Oh, you want me to be Mister Blackswell? Yes. Okay. Yes. The more sequins, the better. That's what I say. <laughs> if you wear a boring old uh, business suit, uh, you know, you're going to be suspended. That's a, that's the deal. Plus, you're not being your real authentic self when you're not in sequins. And I want my coach to be their in real sequence, authentic yeah. self at all times. All right. Uh, we'll be back in a minute here, 16 minutes after the hour. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. <laughs> 866-285-4005. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. Hey, y'all, it's Crystal from Cards. Are you ready for the total solar eclipse on April 8th this year? Did you know this will be visible in the majority of our service area? We are gearing up with portables, roll-offs, and commercial dumpsters. No job is too small or too big. RV parks, day parks, rest stops, events, whatever it may be, we here at Cards can handle it. Mention the Ruskin and Zach show to receive special event pricing on the total solar eclipse. You can sign up today online at cardrecycling.com or give us a call 877-592-2737. It's a mystery where Old Spice finds its amazing scents like Himalayan sea salt, but I'm thrilled they have because no other body wash exfoliates and moisturizes 24-7 like Old Spice Gentleman's Himalayan sea salt body wash. Now, if only there was a mountain range separating the Indian subcontinent from the Tibetan plateau where I could hide my Old Spice and keep my family from stealing it, my impossibly smooth skin will finally be safe. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hog truck. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Cut on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. It's time to vote for your favorite high school player of the week. ESPN Arkansas and Shamrock Roofing and Construction are recognizing the most outstanding high school student athletes. Visit hitthatline.com each week to vote for your favorite athlete of the week. The high school player of the week is brought to you by Shamrock Roofing and Construction. No one can install a better roof at a better price with a better warranty than Shamrock. Visit them at shamrockroofer.com. Visit the nominees each week at hitthatline.com. Sign Studio is the source for complete visual marketing, so don't let the name fool you. We're not just signs. Sign Studio is your all-encompassing partner for advertising success. Need a logo? We'll design it. Want it printed on pins, cards, banners, or even tablecloth? We'll do it. What are you waiting for? Kickstart your brand with our custom products today. Visit YourSignStudio.com or call 479-250-4844. 
When you're looking for your next side-by-side motorcycle, ATV, or zero-turn mower, look no further than your local Wood Power Sports store. With convenient locations in Springdale, Fayetteville, and Harrison, we've got nine brands to choose from. If you can think of it, we've probably got it. These three convenient locations also provide you with outstanding service and parts capabilities. Want to know more? Visit us online at woodpowersports.com. Pick your brand, location, or shop all three. We look forward to earning your business. Wood Power Sports, a solid name you can trust. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Precision Overhead Door features the finest quality materials, installation, and service for all of your overhead door needs. Fully licensed and insured with locations in Rogers and Fort Smith, serving all of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Give them a call today at 844-PBS-DOOR or online at PrecisionDoorNWA.com. And congratulations to the team of Precision Overhead Door, back-to-back winners of the Best of Award, Gold Best Garage Company in Northwest Arkansas, and also winners of the River Valley Precision Overhead Door. Hey, Northwest Arkansas, ever feel like you're carrying around a backpack full of bricks, that sluggishness, that weight, it's holding you back from being your best self? At Boxy Aesthetics and Wellness, we've got the game changer you've been waiting for, Semaglutide Compound. Imagine shedding those pounds, feeling lighter, and regaining that confidence you've been missing. But let's get real for a second. What happens if you don't take action? That backpack, it gets heavier. Your health, your energy, your zest for life all weighed down. Why choose Boxy? Simple. We're not just about weight loss. We're about transformation. Our tailored programs, expert guidance, and weight loss medications combine to offer you a personalized path to success. And fellas, listening on ESPN, this isn't about vanity. It's about vitality. It's about reclaiming your game on and off the field. Are you ready to drop that backpack and step into a lighter, brighter tomorrow? Choose Voxy Aesthetics and Wellness. Choose transformation. Choose you. Go to VoxyNWA.com for more details or text us at 479-274-8454. That's V-O-X-Y-N-W-A.com. This is Joey Phillips, Gill Mortgage. When you're looking for a home loan, you're looking for a company that is local, experienced, honest, hardworking, and has the loan programs to fit your needs from USDA, VA, FHA to conventional. That's what you'll find here at Gill Mortgage. Stop by and see us at 816 North Main Street, Harrison, Arkansas, or online at gillmortgage.com, or call us at 870-416-3755. Gill Mortgage Company, Equal Housing Opportunity, Company MLS 3274, Individual MLS 410478. All loans subject to underwriting approval. Terms and conditions may apply. Subject to change without notice. The Powerball jackpot from the Arkansas Scholarship Lottery is now more than $1 billion. So, what would you do if you won? I, I'd buy a baseball team. Ooh, I would definitely buy my mom a Tesla so that she can drive cool, look cool. If I won a jackpot, i will start a cooking school for the youth in the city. Got your ticket? If not, visit your local lottery retailer for your chance to win the Powerball jackpot of more than $1 billion. This is winning. Call 1-800-522-4700 for Problem Gambling Helpline. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. The most influential show in Arkansas. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. News brought to you by the Good Chair. Glad to have a place to sit. The Good Chair only at the stadium shop. Stop by. Tell Robert, you want to see the Good Chair in the Joe Bonamassa sucks. Now is as good a time as any to do our spring football report. Sam Pittman standing by. Offensive line issues, back issues, running route issues, tight end issues. I hate him. Uh, will he or won't he? <laughs> report surfaced yesterday afternoon that Eric Musselman was the leading candidate for the University of Southern California. You are mean. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't like these. AI DQ strikes yeah, again. All AI. I did have a delivery of a bunch of long wood yesterday. You, you know? jackass. <laughs> anyway, baseball team whacked A-State last night. 13 nothing out of Bond. They'll host uh, Mississippi this weekend. That was batting practice is what that was yesterday. Yeah. That was a televised scrimmage. Yep. I don't think I understand baseball. 
very much. I understand that A State's not good at it. That's what no, I understand. No, they're, they're they're very bad at the at the baseball. Oh, it was their midweek guy, Derek Lee Malone. That's surprising. <laughs> DQ, I'm sorry. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so very sorry. And then DQ uh, went right. and uh, and um, and shot up the place, and right. oh she said her psychological break was because of not true at all being tormented by the tormentor, Zach Arms. <laughs> Uh, your Ruskin Attack X polls brought to you by our good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale, 479-225-8809. We're in the uh, Elite Eight of our other stuff bracket. Yeah. You like brunettes or a non-smoking section? 80.4% of you like brunettes. Uh, do you want hamburgers or a shower in the morning? 56.1% of you uh, like a burger. Uh, salt, uh, Soft pretzels. Do you want salt on it or mustard? 62.2% of you uh, like uh, the salt only. And uh, have you ever used the seven button on your microwave? 76.7% of yes. you said no. Do not just let it go. Can we talk about microwave? Oh, anymore? God. Microwave talk was the best <laughs> part of the day. What are you talking about? Yeah. Top dog. <laughs> toaster oven Thursday here on Ruskin and Zach. Oh, I love toaster oven. <laughs> too. Oh, man. And the broil button on the oven. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> I've just come. I've just learned about the broil button about a year or two ago <laughs> and it has been life changing <laughs> i hate both of you <laughs> I, I hate both of you right now uh those are your ruskin and zach x polls they're brought to you by our very good friends at unlimited heat and air in springdale 479-225-8809 for all of your heat and air needs my rolly don't take it glides Stay tuned for Air Fryer Fridays here on Ruskin and Zach. <laughs> if I hired someone to drive me around, would it be weird if I also sat in the front seat with them? DQ. I get carsick. Hmm, makes sense. Life sucks right now. Hey, um, yeah, I got a, a text now. I don't want you to react okay. until I'm finished. Okay. Okay. Daisy and Mina on the McCarty Journal Hotline. If you hire Bill Self, you just have to add AR to all the gear. And, then, you know, there you go. You save a little I could money. use a good ass kick. I'll be very honest with you. <laughs> He's got Kansas. Just put the AR on front of it. Daisy, that's not the worst suggestion of the day. Why would Sadly. Bill, why <laughs> would Bill Self leave Kansas? Well, because he wants uh, stuff with AR written in front oh, of his uh, Kansas. Okay, okay, so, you, know, right, you know, right. save a few bucks. Right. Put it in the NIL coffers. There oh, you go. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, that's great. Oh, yeah. Great. yeah, it's awesome. Just awesome. This is great. Again, Daisy, that's not the worst suggestion we've had today. No, no, no. It's not the worst <laughs> suggestion we've had. But we did get a text out of the 870 with a um, um, uh, text. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Didn't pay attention. Well, he was texting <laughs> the other shows. <laughs> oh, I see. Mr. Pib is now going to take on the stream so he can figure out what's AI and what isn't. That's well. Uh, Jeff from Fort Smith says that uh, Daisy needs to take a lap. I love, okay, I want to do this now, all right? Because we were, I was talking to you during the break mm. of the. Um, do you ever remember what you were going to tell me? No, but uh, okay. this is this is on front of my mind. Don't don't mess me up here. Okay. okay. I, there are, we are hitting this, we're, we're not officially in a coaching search, although no. we're kind of half in a coaching search right now. And we're already going through the stages uh -huh. of a coaching search. Right. All right. We we're, just hit another having, one. We're having a drink in the booth right now is what we're doing. We, uh, the, the stages of a coasting search. Yeah. Um, we've already, we hit another one just a minute ago. Um, when you misspell a possible candidate's name, that's part of the, uh, um, the, the coaching search. When this rumor populates uh, social medias, maybe they're waiting because their coach is the one, the coach they want is still in the tournament. What tournament? That's always a, no. Well, That's my, always a fun my, part my of it. My favorite one is when, when the, uh, the especially the local media hedges. Oh, it's one to keep an eye on. <laughs> I only got two, dude. Uh, you know, they, <laughs> because a name pops up doesn't mean it's necessarily somebody to keep an eye on. Misspelling a name. Yeah. Uh, candidate still in the tournament. There was one more I said during the break. Um, uh, that that are the stages of the um, of the uh, of the coaching search. Um, one to keep an eye on is good. Yes. Uh, uh, has had someone such and such has interest. That's uh, another yep, part of it. Yep. 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 When people start having interest. Uh, here's a great question from Abner. Where does AI DQ rank in the intern hierarchy? Is it higher than actual DQ? <sighs> That's a tough one. 
Yeah, you know what? I think we may have to move AI DQ in there. Oh, wow. What do you think, DQ? Good I chance. had a fun time. At- <laughs> oh. That is not nice. Uh, okay. Well, Here's, do you figure it out? Another state. Now, we haven't got to this one yet. Okay. This is a pretty advanced state. All right. But there's another stage of the coaching search when someone suggests the candidate who's already passed away. Yeah, we did have that happen just a minute ago. <laughs> That's a, that's a part of it, you know. Some of, some of y'all, I mean. Just, hey, what's Jerry Tarkanian doing? Well, he's he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Sorry, sir. He's dead. Uh, uh. When you misspell a name or you can't pronounce a name, see the Belima area era here in Arkansas. Um, that you the candidate's not insane. available. He's still in the tournament. Or when people start suggesting the candidate who's since passed away. Those are three of the stages. Those are very bad things. And we're still early on. We're like at green. We're like at threat level, like 7 p.m. We're not at threat level midnight The uh, the doomsday clock is at like 12 minutes to midnight. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. We're in the misspelling phase, which is pretty early. Uh, Again. We just had someone suggest Kellen Sampson. We've just poured a nice bottle of rosé, turned the lights down. We're not even into the romancing yet. We had another guy suggest Kellen Simpson. Kellen Simpson? Who's that? Get some facts and come back and see me. I know who I want. I'm put. I'm prepared to put all of my uh, chips in the Toronto Raptors basket. Oh, you want Darko? Yeah, I want oh, Coach Darko. Okay. You want to Coach Darko, Darko, Darko the coach. Okay. Coach it's Darko. Complete crap. Yes. You know what? I, it, fine. I think he'd be fun. Rajakovich? Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. Well, I'd love to see some of the hey, members of the media mispronounce that name. 45 years of age? Oh, I'd love to hear the, the drive time caller. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. Try again. Uh, Try yeah, again. yeah, yeah, yeah. Randy, uh, uh, about this uh, guy, uh, 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 Red, Red Jacket, Red Jacket, or whatever his name is. Uh, <laughs> what is he? Uh, what kind of connections does he have in college ball? And uh, I'll hang up and listen. Uh, <laughs> Red <Jackovich. sighs> Yeah, yeah. Now t- Tanner is the Texan, our our man of the cloth. Says another stage of the coaching searches. That he's uh, wearing a red tie. Now, the red tie stage. Yeah, yes. Yeah. The uh, if anybody I'm subliminally signaling. Now, do any of the coaches in the Final Four wear ties anymore, or are no, they all no, wearing all uh, warm up type guys? Okay. Well, then. We, well, what if one of them wears a what if um what if uh, Kevin Keats wears a red warm up for NC State? Does that mean he's it's interested? A, now, DQ, you have coaching experience, <laughs> and you've run up the score on some teams. Hey, I think I, DQ, do. <laughs> I, I think DQ should get an interview. DQ could go. 30. I really believe that. DQ could go thirty and thirty in a league in sixty games. Even if it's a Rooney Rule interview, mm-hmm. I say give her an interview. Yeah, say, That's what I say. Yep. You have extensive experience with young people. Um, you know the game. That is true. I mean, I, I hey. I have coached for four years. Oh, four years there experience. You there you go. There it is on the bench, calling timeouts. Right. Got in a fight with a ref in the last See, game. See that 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 you know, the fans would love that. Oh DQ. yeah. Oh, you're oh, out there with a ref. Th- full oh. Pete Bell. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, can you punt the ball into the stands like Pete Bell? Do you know how to punt that... basketball? <laughs> I I watched my uh, junior high basketball coach do that a couple times, so I think yeah. I could get the hang okay. of it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, plane tracking, another yeah, stage another of the coaching one. search. Yeah. That's a pretty big one, too. Right. Yeah. Um, We're also now at the point where people are just declaring it without any basis on anything. Right. Like earlier, we got a um, – well, it's going to be – um. Scott Drew, you heard it here first. Thank okay. you, person okay. with a phone number we know <laughs> and not a name we know. We okay. heard it here first from right. a random stranger. What if they wear red dragon underwear? I mean, that's a sign, right? Who pig. Yeah, that's what right? I'm talking about. Yeah. That goes with Behiva Aloy's bat with oh the my dragon gosh, and right. Oh, there it is. There it's it all is. coming together. Yeah. See, see this? We don't need this guy anymore. No, we're, we're fine. We're doing okay. Uh, silly season. That's what it is. I had a bad idea uh, earlier. Um, I, I was told this is a bad idea. I don't know if I'm ready to uh, uh, express it. Oh, and by the way, you say it. What if Nate Oates wears a red blazer? Does that mean well, anything? He coaches Alabama. So, well, their primary. He's not going to walk. They're out different there. reds. Yeah. He's, oh yeah. It's crimson. Yeah, yeah. And it's distinct. Distinctly crimson, different red. Crimson and cardinal are not the same. Oh no, no. DQ made that very, very clear. Right. Right. Hmm. Uh, Jamie and Van Buren yeah. on the McCarty Hotline saw Billy Donovan in a red tie at XNA today. <laughs> now we're cooking. Yeah, now we're going. Now it's a party. What's wrong with you guys? Just 
He's not even he's not even in he's not the coach yet. Let's wait till they call a PC. We'll keep it on Ooh, the QT. Fancy. Yeah, we'll keep it on the QT. <laughs> Borderline erotic. What's he doing? <laughs> Probably eating. It's feeding time. <laughs> oh man. I think you like that one. <laughs> oh, here's a fun one. Yeah. Um, this will give us a little bit of a respite from uh okay. must watch twenty twenty four. Okay. Um <laughs> So yesterday, uh, voters in Missouri rejected a sales tax that would go towards the improvements of Arrowhead Stadium and would build a new stadium downtown for the Royals. That's surprising. So Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson has uh, has, uh, posted uh, on the Internet, posted an article that um, he'd like to bring the Chiefs back to Dallas where they started in the AFL. Really? Yes. Give me Mizzou, Chuck. Yes. Uh, he is... Uh, were they the Texans then? They were the Dallas Texans. Okay. That's correct. All right. And then the Cowboys came in in the same year in the NFL, or maybe a year apart. Um, I think a year after that, actually. And then the um, the Chiefs moved to Kansas City in like their second year in the AFL with oh, Lamar Hunt. Lamar this- Hunt. The Hunt family has Texas ties, folks. I mean, look, Lamar Hunt's dad was a big oil man. That's how he got all his money. So wouldn't this be something if uh, uh, this ever went anywhere? I don't think it will because, you know, Jerry Jones is probably not going to allow this. Mm, but no, probably no, no. There's no one moving into the, the Dallas, Chiefs are right? moving to Kansas. They're not moving to, to uh, no, Dallas. Move out by the raceway. Right. Exactly. That's where, where all the land is, because I don't know if you all understand this, but there is nothing in Kansas. No, I've been not, out not there. And, you know, there's a little strip mall and a racetrack, and that's about it. Yeah, yeah so. here we go. Uh, hacker pointing out Tom Crean was seen at Powerhouse today. Powerhouse is closed. Uh, <laughs> Texter out of the three three one. That's Thank Illinois. You, though. Yeah. Uh, how is Missouri's chess coach familiarity with basketball? Proven SEC winner. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um uh Chaz with mm-hmm. a uh, text here. I hope Eric Musselman stays and never actually interviews for you at USC. Mm-hmm. Well, sir, he's there right now. So well, that's what we understand. So every hot media member in the state can look like a dumbass. That's what Chaz wrote. Okay. All right. Well, do we look like one? Really? Yeah. Why? Uh, just, you know, just based on history. No. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, lifetime achievement or something like that. I don't think you could. So wait a minute. So this is a very interesting dynamic here. Mm-hmm. So there are people out there who would in a basketball sense, let their coach have an affair and then take them back? That's very interesting to me. Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, that's what is, if you if you go all the way out there to interview for a job, it is, um, you've, you've done the deed. You, uh, you need some lube out there. <laughs> really? That's very interesting. I don't, I, I don't know if there are a lot of people that feel that way, but there's at I, least I, one. I, I don't think there's any way if if he got on the plane, and and here this is the way it was explained to me. If he gets on the plane, he's not coming back because you're not you you don't float that kind of information unless a you've already agreed to the job. You're just going out to make sure everything. Yeah, told he's you not true. going to interview. He's, no, he's going, going to, to ta- finalize to the, the deal. That's right. right. Yes, he's not going to interview. He he's 59 years old. He's been doing this for a thousand years. He's not. He doesn't audition anymore. All right. If you want him, you give him a job, and you go out there and you just f- formalize everything. That, that that's that's what it finalize everything. That's what this is. He's not going out there to audition for the USC job for Jennifer Cohen, the AD out there. That is not what he's going to do. Uh, he's text. going out there. He's going out there to take a job. Uh, here's the text for the four seven nine. They're gonna like hang a pineapple on his office door. <laughs> y'all, are, y'all are wrong. Talk, wrong. Talk to your source. Which one? Uh, at the BPC, okay. are there two Adirondack chairs in the front yard? I'm on it. We will like oh, to yeah. know about that. <laughs> we'll check on that for you. All right. <laughs> Must watch 2024. Back after this. This is Ruskin and Zach. That is my sense of humor coming across. ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. Electrical work can be dangerous. Don't let a do-it-yourself mistake lead to a bigger problem. Mr. Sparky's highly trained electricians can handle all of your electrical needs, guaranteeing that your job will be completed safely and within code compliance. 
Trust the experts at Mr. Sparky. We'll leave your home even safer than we found it. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hi, Tommy Kraft here for QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades. Regenerative medicine. If you're tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics right now. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics using your body's power to repair and restore damaged tissue. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about exciting options. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you long-term relief with no downtime, no drugs, and no surgery. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation, 479-999-1234, 479-999-1234, for QC Kinetics. Tougher than the first shower after a sunburn. They're the new Mahindra tractors at Tatum Motor Company. New Mahindras are heavier with more built-in weight, so you can push more, pull more, and lift more. Your new Mahindra will always be ready and capable. These tough Mahindra tractors are proudly made with steel, not plastic, so you'll never be envious of the other brands. Plus, with the new Mahindra, you get up to a seven-year powertrain warranty on most models and 0% financing on select models for 72 months. That's six years, no interest. If you're looking for a new tractor or tractor package, check out the new Mahindra from Tatum Motor Company. You can even call for a quote before you head down. Tatum Motors promises they won't be undersold. Tatum Motor Company in Anderson, Missouri and Tawnytown, Arkansas. I'm Paul with Tatum Motor Company. Visit us online at TatumMotor.com. Hey y'all, it's Melinda, Fantasy Sports Cuts. You know, Fayetteville's hair joint for men. Did you know your haircut can accentuate features about your face you may not like? That's why you need Fantasy Sports Cuts. We'll work with you to create the perfect look for you. If your current barber isn't cutting it, come see us at Fantasy Sports Cuts. We'll have you leaving feeling like a winner. And we all like winners. Book your appointment today at Fantasy Sports Cuts, where the winning look can be found. Fantasy Sports Cuts, Fayetteville's hair joint for men and your little men in training at Mission and Crossover in the Hart Shopping Center. We'll see y'all there. You won't miss a moment of the March basketball action at On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill in Fayetteville, now under new ownership. Cold drinks and hot food specialties are sure to score points with your entire crew. Come watch all the madness at On The Mark. 6,000 square feet of sports entertainment, over 40 flat screen TVs and the best smoked wings. All at On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill, 2588 North Craig Avenue in Fayetteville. Now under new ownership, On The Mark. All the games, all the time. Have you heard? The Pleasure Playground just got a little bigger. Cupid's is growing. That's right. Cupid's Lingerie just opened its newest naughty location in Fayetteville at Crossover and Mission in the Walmart Shopping Center. Cupid's is a boutique specializing in all things pleasure and play. From lingerie to, well, everything you can imagine and more. Visit ShopCupid's.com today and treat someone special to something special. Cupid's Lingerie in Bentonville, Springdale, and now in Fayetteville. Cupid's Lingerie. Enjoy. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Attention homeowners, storms are firing up quickly and widespread damage means thousands are reaching out for the right roofing company. Don't wait. Get on the schedule with Shamrock Roofing and Construction now for quality and peace of mind. One call does it all. Shamrock Roofing and Construction call 479-319-5100. Need new roof? Shamrock Roofing and Construction can have you covered right now for as low as $139.99 with approved credit. For quality and peace of mind, one call does it all. Shamrock Roofing and Construction call 479-319-5100. ESPN 99.5. We don't care if you love them or you hate them. All we ask is that you keep listening 
This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitThatLine.com. Ruskin and Zach shows been streamed in 155 countries, 50 states to territories. Yesterday, streamed in Foulness Island, Essex, England. If you want to stream it too, it's HitThatLine.com. When the Google Play Alexa dot thing, say, hey, play ESPN Northwest Arkansas, and uh, we'll send DQ. Right. Oh, she didn't like that. No? no. You, can take the, uh, you can take the grocery getter. Not burning your own gas. It's fine. DQ got her car back today. Yeah. How is it? It's not the same, it's is fine. it? It's <laughs> fine. Oh, that, you got the original car back? Yeah, yeah my yeah. car. Yep. And it's not good? No, it is. It's oh, it, good. It's fine. Oh, it's just not it's as good car. as a brand new one that you had on. No, Rome. I love I love my car. Okay. I hate them. <laughs> I did. I don't know how because I thought of it last night, but I completely forgot to put gas in the loner car. Solid work. And I think that's hey. something you're supposed to do when you return. It is. The well, car. If you don't do that with a rental car, it's like 12 bucks a gallon. That's if you right. Yeah, so, so I don't know how it works with loaner cars at the dealership. They didn't say anything to me as I was leaving. And they usually won't, but they'll stick you. I mean, they, you'll get a bill for it. Yeah. My yeah. dad uh, is on a loaner car right now. Really? Why? Yeah. Well, my mom's car. Um, Wait a minute. Your mom, your dad's on a loaner because your mom's car is getting worked on? Well, here's what happened for some reason. Um, My mom's car, uh, they found a bunch of mold in the ceiling. So it a, a routine, um, what do you call those things? A routine recall fit. A routine oh, okay. recall right. thing became a three-week project because they have to put a new roof in mm. uh, in the car. So, for whatever reason, the loaner is in my dad's name, and only he can drive it. Uh, so okay. he is, uh, right. he's uh, driving What's the he loaner. Driving? It's a, uh, it's a, it's a SUV. Okay, red. Oh, oh, yeah, that's, a, that. that's a signal. He's gonna get pulled over. Yeah, there's right. no question about that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, that's um, that's what's going on there. My car's running fine. When are you getting rid of yours? I thought you've been talking about this for like a year. Yeah, I know. And I'm looking. Okay, uh, I'm right. looking. I, I have my eyes on on something. Yeah. And um and it, it's I've I've got a there's a car in this town just like yours. Oh, there's several. I saw it yesterday. I saw I saw that car too. Did you see the one with the I didn't know what it was, but then um I looked it over and the license plate was flat, it wasn't bent like yeah. yours is. And I know Zach well. Yes. No, I know the letters on Zach's license plate. So. I don't. <laughs> Why would you know the letters well, on my license plate? Well, because it looks like something, but it's not. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess it, it looks does. like something funny. It looks like but something it's... offensive. Well, not offensive. It could be. Inappropriate. Yeah, inappropriate. But it's not, so that's how I always I never I thought of that. I really it. need to take like a magic marker and just yeah. draw it out. Do you know what I saw the other day? Oh, tell me. A cyber truck. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, yeah. Here? In Fayetteville. Did you get hit? No. They've been banging into stuff all day. No. That's huh. the first time I've ever seen one in truck. person. The one the with, Tesla. No, with no yeah, with no driver? The Tesla trucks. No, it, I think it had a driver. Oh, okay. But have it's ever, the Tesla truck. Have oh. you ever driven one of those cars that parks itself? It's the most unnerving thing I've ever done. I've never done that. It is unnerving. And if I did have one of those, I didn't know how to turn that feature on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it, it like took off. Um, um, I also don't like, but, and, and this is just me. But you, here's another thing you need to worry about with your car is the Fine. one I saw uh -huh. that had the flat license plate also had a um, a, a certain political sticker in the back yeah, window. Mine does, mine does not have that. Oh, no, yeah. no. I would not. Why would I put a bumper sticker on my car? I'm not it was it. in the window. It wasn't on the car. Have you noticed in the grocery getter that like if you get too close to a curb, the seat vibrates? Yes. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, what do you I, think it was? Well, I was backing up, like I backed, I backed it in because I was unloading all the stuff, and all of a sudden the seat started vibrating. What did like, you, you think? It was a, one of those coin-operated beds at the Roseanne Motel or something. I, mean, there? I didn't <laughs> immediately pull forward. <laughs> I sat there for a second. But, <laughs> oh, you like? I mean, you know, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Really? Another bell. This wow. is another one. Wow. Just, just for safekeeping, uh, a couple of texts here that uh, uh, I want to uh, address. Uh, one from JB, the non-monogamous fan base. I like to let my coach have fun and not feel tied down. It's something we talked about and both agreed upon. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you, JB. Uh, That's funny. Uh, here's a suggestion. Mm. Be the first school to think outside the box. Stack the deal with incentives. Pay the up-and-coming high school coach 150 k a year. Then give incentives for wins and making the NCAA tournament. Use all the other money for NIL. 
to get a few key players. That's a Kevin Kelly plan. <laughs> Something outside the box. Listen. Uh, thank you for your suggestion. We will uh, we'll take that under and we'll we'll, we'll pass that along. We're, we're working. We'll on forward it. that to uh, H Eurocheck at uh, whatever is the web the email is over there. Uh, we'll we'll get on Ooh. that. Thank you for your suggestion, sir. That's a that is a different thing. That way of thinking. I did reply to him with a text. It was a nice text. Yes, it was. I said you'll never get a quality kid. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Congratulations. Uh, let's see here. Um, okay, I can't read that one. No, anymore. thank you. No. Um, uh, George and Reno wants to get the money ready for Chris Beard. I'm sorry, Reno. George at Reno, Nevada. Wow. Okay. Hey, George. Reno. Well, glad to have you. Reno oh, represent. Man, the lady's a lot like Reno. Yeah, All buddy. Right. Very good. Isn't that the biggest little uh, no. city in the world? What's his name? The uh, the guitar player from the Wonders lives in Reno. Oneeders? Yes, the Oneeders. Oh, um, Lenny. Lenny, yeah. yeah he, he lives in hey, Skitch. Yeah, he's, uh, he's running the casino out there. That is a question everyone could ask. Hey, Skitch. How did we get, how did we get here? How did we get here? <laughs> there? Maybe we'll uh, revisit that coming up in the uh, four o'clock hour. How how do we? What is our best uh, estimation on how we got here? Because that's a uh, that's a part of it, and this is where we are. Uh, is he still the coach? Uh, as like, of this moment, looks yeah. like he's still yeah, the coach. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so three fifty p.m. He is still your basketball coach. Oh, right. Well, oh. that's surprising. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you you and abner you're just gonna have to i'm camped out of three twitters right now oh really who Look are you usc's it's all okay, over okay it. all right uh arkansas basketball right. and muscle men you can close now, the arkansas basketball when they'll be the last to know i think well, usc will be the first one yes well now hang on a second because um there is a school of thought out there that arkansas gets their announcement in before usc gets theirs and then you get some sort of uh social media points Great. If you do that, this is a great question from uh, JT. Will we help the new coach recruit? Us? Yes. He doesn't want our help. Well, you don't want our help. All right. Uh, let's see. Here's Here someone wanting to know what to do with the must bus t shirt. Speaking of which, yeah. um, if he does go, we would like all of your must bus yeah. material. Bring them here. Yeah, we will take care of it for you. Yeah. We've got our pit crew thing here. Pit uh, crew. Uh, yeah, we would really, uh, we would really like. That. We are the museum of lost coaches. That's correct for the University of Arkansas. We got the Morris candle. <laughs> we already have one Muslim artifact, right? The bobblehead. Uh, but we will take life more. Size. Yes, it is life size. size. Yes, right. That's right. Uh, I'm, I, you know, we, we since the university does not care about their history and won't acknowledge, we most we of do. It, we will. We do. Yes, right. so, we so will bring yes. it. If you've got must bus stuff. T-shirts, uh, foam fingers, whatever. Uh, we'll uh, take it. Uh, Robert and Bull Scholes is, is suggesting a bonfire. For what? For the must bus stuff. Yeah, you suggested I that. did suggest a station event where we do that. I don't but, know uh, if bonfire's the way I want to go. I would just like to set stuff on hey, fire. Hey, we, uh, we would get so much run on social media if we did this. Think about that. Yeah, we'd probably Good also, or bad, it's still run. We would probably also get charged with a crime. We'd get on the news. I, hey, Tommy, I know you're in the building. Hey, we want to go out in the parking lot and set stuff on fire. You cool with that? We 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 would get on the news. Three, two, one. Think of the publicity. No, man. no, no. Think I'm, of the publicity. I'm, yes, I'm also thinking about the five-day suspension. No, nobody would be cussing. Mm, It'd be not. on social media. I mean, you could do anything. There. Uh, if, if any of you got must-bust tattoos, how you feeling? Hmm. That's a tough one. Well, maybe we need to uh, hit up some of the uh, laser uh, places around here uh, to uh, remove that tattoo removal. Okay. I mean, that'd be something. We'll uh, we'll work on it. I mean, look again, nothing has happened as of nothing no, has happened. Nothing. Neither we're in the idea phase right. here. That's all, all we're right. doing we're just, here. This is this is a uh, what do we call this? Is, what? God, just what? Brother, I cannot. Why is the game on? You're like torturing yourself. Like, like, what are you doing? They are like, worse than a little league team. They just throw it around. Why do you watch? Because I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. <sighs> this is why you want Arkansas to be good. No, it's, a, it's a vicarious okay, thing. All, Arkansas is already good. What I want them to be is champions, which I think is a foregone conclusion. Hell, I got the hat for it. 
I'm ready to roll. Skeeter is suggesting in honor of Eric, we take our shirts off. Oh, you don't want that. No, no, sir. No. I'd love to see the streaming numbers if we did that. I bet we'd crack a, 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 like 10,000. I'm going to go no. All right. It'll go from it'll go to like 10,001 and then zero within an instant. I'm, like, will, oh, God! I'm willing to do it. Um, I'm willing to do it. If you do, <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm not having that burned in my retina. That's not my job. Okay, submit head can moon you. That's fine. That's already happened. I take my top off. That that's no, where you draw the look, line. I threw up in my mouth when he did. <laughs> Ugh. It looked like two hogs fighting under a blanket. Ugh. A lot of hair too. Ah! That was a hairy booty. Terrible. Ah! It was terrible. We'll be right back. A windy Wednesday out there. Hold on to your hats. I'm Brandon Evans. This is your 4029 News Live local late-breaking update. We're continuing to track the waterline break, impacting a handful of communities, including Bentonville and Cave Springs. Officials say everyone has water now, although pressure is still impacted. The good news, they say there are no contamination issues. Tune in tonight for a report from 4029's Abner Sosa. Also tonight, our Phil Reed has the latest on the housing crisis in Fayetteville and what's being done to address it. Weather-wise, cooling down again tonight with frost expected, even some freezes. So bundle up tomorrow morning. Chief Meteorologist Darby Bybee has that and your eclipse forecast. And speaking of the eclipse, Brett Rains is in Greenwood where they're discussing the city's plans at a town hall. He'll have those takeaways tonight. And for those who don't have those eclipse-safe sunglasses yet, Arkatani Gooch explains the dangers of looking up without proper protection. I'm Brandon Evans. Don't forget, everything we're covering is always available online or with the free 4029 News app. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, your favorite drafts are poured at a frosty 29 degrees, and rare barrel-aged whiskeys are served just the way you want them. It's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day, from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Twin Peaks is always adding exciting cocktails to the menu, like the expertly balanced Sincoro Hall of Fame Margarita. Try it at your local lodge today. Spring camping season is here. Don't miss the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th at 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers behind Nukes. Sponsored by two of the state's largest RV dealers, Wheels RV and Moix RV. With brands you love like Grand Design. Jayco, Brinkley, Flagstaff, Coachman Catalina, Vibe, and Winnebago. On-site financing available, plus food trucks, a variety of vendors, and bounce house for the kids. Make plans to attend the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th. 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway, Rogers. Who can you trust to sell your home for the most money with the least amount of drama? You need a team of agents with decades of experience, commitment, and, of course, tens of thousands in marketing. You need the Lindbergh team, home of Arkansas's only instant offer program. Get a cash offer on your home in only 72 hours. Lindbergh Real Estate Group is the number one team in Arkansas with over $1 billion sold and voted best of the best 10 years in a row, serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and now the River Valley. Find out more at LindberghTeam.com. L-I-M. B-I-R-D. Today is the day. After countless hours of research, cutting back expenses, and nine months of anxiously waiting for her, today is the day you finally bring home your new car. It's also the day to protect her with an auto policy from Shelter Insurance. Our policies are competitively priced and include new car replacement coverage if anything were to happen to your new baby. Call J.T. Finley at 479-521-4220 or come by and see him for a quote at 2142 North College Avenue in Fayetteville. Richard's Country Meat Market has everything you need for an old-fashioned crawfish boil. Live crawfish, shrimp, sausage, corn, and potatoes. Give Richard a call by Wednesday to place your crawfish order and pick it up on Friday. While you're there, choose from mild to spicy seasonings for a delicious Cajun crawfish boil. Plus, Richard's has the best selection of fresh fish like salmon and cod. With over 25 years in business, you know Richard's Country Meat Market is the only place to get top choice in prime meat. Teddy Jean hams, fresh fish, crawfish, and in-house season. Richard makes it easy with in-store and curbside pickup. To place your order, call ahead at 479-443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville. One block east of College and Rolling Hills Drive. For curbside pickup and to place your crawfish order, call Richard's Country Meat Market at 443-0000. 443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville. 479-443-0000. 
Are you ready to upgrade your ride? Head on over to McClarty Daniel Country. McClarty Daniel has over a thousand used cars to choose from, so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget. With six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale, you're never too far away from a great deal. But that's not all. If you're looking for something brand new, they've got you covered there too with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to McClarty Daniel and drive away in the car of your dreams. Online at McClartyDaniel.com. Hey, y'all, it's Crystal from Cards. Start off your new year with a new deal. Sign up for residential trash service today and get 13 months for the price of 12. This offer is valid through the end of the year, and you have to mention the Ruskin and Zach Show to get this New Year's deal. Cards is operated with our customers in mind, and we are headquartered right here in Arkansas. You can sign up today online at cardsrecycling.com or give us a call, 877-592-2737. KAKS Goshen Fayetteville, K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I miss you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline, 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Way, Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. An excellent question as we continue must watch 24. Um. Do they donate all the old polos to a third world country? Oh man, they're gonna some. Uh, I mean, it, there's yeah, gotta be why boxes not? of them. Uh, oh, there's some they haven't even worn. Yeah, I mean they're mint in box. Yeah, send and yeah, donate them to the absolutely. third world. Yeah, yeah. maybe you, maybe one of those pirates will get a hold of them when they're uh, looting a boat, and uh, you, right. you'll have a Razorback shirt on a pirate. That'd be pretty cool. You know what's it? gonna happen? <laughs> it's, it's, He's gonna stay. No, <laughs> we're gonna we're, be screwed. We're, we're gonna come in. We're we're gonna come in tomorrow. There's gonna be like, hey, got you some new polos. They have the thing X'd out, and it'll be ESPN Arkansas on the other side. Oh, I got a great deal. Great deal. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Price to you move. You are mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Why does uh, it say R Brewer? Yeah. That's right. 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 <laughs> Just a little bigger than me. T Lee? Well, that's not my name. Why is that on there? That's strange. That's the one shirt they never did, but they should have. They should have come out in themed, like mechanic shirts. That would have yeah, been fun. You know, yeah, with the yeah, short yeah. sleeves and the button. DQ, the, where, I mean, you're a I don't like that. DQ, yeah. what, are, what are we wearing today? We haven't talked about this. Kind I'm wearing of a, my Patagonia. Kind of a Dances with sweater. Wolves mo yeah, motif yeah. you got going on I mean, over need, there. I, hey, can you pop up the, the screen and put yourself out in the wilderness? Ooh, yeah. Let's let's yeah, uh, hold let, on, let's let me put see. DQ in a random background. Yeah. All right, while she gets it ready, yeah, we'll take and, her off and, the screen here. And then she's wearing her I went to the gallows t shirt. Yeah, underneath. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's uh it's been uh it's been good. Pretty it's good. Been, it's been good. That's right. Uh you can uh, join us here on the McClarty Daniel hotline at eight six six two eight five four zero zero five. Batgirl's got a great question. Who wears the musclemans? Um the medium yeah, the, the sh medium. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um but um, there's going to be a fourth grade class out there. It's going to be thrilled. And someone's going to get a, like, I mean, those shirts, most of them don't have names on them. They just have Razorbacks on them. They're still good. Like, you could, they oh, could yeah. be repurposed. No, 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 no. no they're, they're great. Uh, give them just some kids down in the, uh, you know, in, you know, in, in one of the uh, more impoverished uh, places in Arkansas. Okay, I'm ready. All right. You mean like, like Rogers? Let's see. DQ. Oh, look at uh, that. DQ in the mountains. I'm in the mountains. Uh, look <laughs> at that. Oh, I love this. Live from the mountains. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Wear it or Patagonia? Yes, yeah, this works. It it looks right. it looks this, fitting. This, it's appropriate. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, you look like you're wearing appropriate you clothes for being in the there. in a mountain meadow. Or the... thank you. <laughs> uh, we have we've heard nothing yet on the uh, on the uh, on the on the muscleman thing. No, nothing. Oh, okay. All right. I was told three thirty, their time. 
not ours. That is uh, uh, 5.30 five thirty here. That's what I was told. Oh, I thought you went three thirty our time. Uh, it did look like you, DQ. It looks like you're in a Bob Ross painting. <laughs> it does. I, I I can see that. There what? are other versions of the wilderness I can put in. Put a few happy Do you trees have anything, over like, there. Yeah, with some happy trees in there. Hold on. Okay, thanks. <laughs> There's more wilderness. <laughs> she just disappeared. That was spooky. <laughs> it's like uh, AI. AI DQ just just popped out of the screen. Just totally vanished. Oh man. Uh, let's see here. Um. A poem, mm. if I may. Yes. Not a dirty poem, just yes. a poem from Joe and Van Buren. Roses are red, violets are blue. Muss is leaving for Cali, and you're a check is too. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. That's a poem. That's an that's a original work by Joe and Van Buren on the McLarty General Hotline. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh let's see here. Yes, it's uh, four o'clock and uh there is uh no uh news, no news here on the uh, situation here. But we're uh, we're being very vigilant. We're DQ keeping is, our eyes on uh, all sources, and um, DQ is per- I just perched outside all, uh, I guess, all ap- applicable uh, Twitter accounts. Yes, so we are we are uh, we're on top of uh, all the things here. Um, but uh, there is one thing that's uh, interesting to me. Oh, we have another DQ um, uh, uh, background that now that does look more like Bob Ross because the sky's got that orange and pink. That is a Bob Ross. Yeah. It's oh, look act, at that. Like an actual Bob Ross? Yeah. We're probably going to get sued for yeah, that. Yeah, is this then. legal or is it even right for us to do this? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, all the money goes to uh, the Kowalskis. Yeah. You know, Bob Ross's kid doesn't get a dime. So, like yeah, that. so it's kind of not fair. So got the card stuff behind her. I like right. that, too. All right. Yeah, it's great. Right. It's good. We'll be showing you the colors that you need. They'll be putting <laughs> them on the bottom of your screen. But first, I've covered the entire canvas in liquid clear. And you watch Bob Ross. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I watch it from time to time. Yeah, I, I, I used to watch it a lot more. Yeah, I'm busy. You know, when he gets the uh <laughs> I don't know. Um he gets the um he gets the paintbrush mm. and then he's like <laughs> he beats the heck out of it when he gets the well, yeah, he, he know, dips it got, in the water, right? You, know, you gotta get get all the paint out of it. You know, paint thinner would do the same thing, but you know, I guess they'll there's know. a theory that all that odorless paint thinner is what led to his cancer that Killed him. Really? There's a theory okay. about that. Yeah, in the documentary I watched. Stop puffing the uh, paint there. Then. But it was odorless. So, I mean, he thought he was doing the right thing, but, uh, you know, he actually uh, wasn't doing the right thing. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, yeah. All right. Uh, what do we got here? Yeah, he beat the devil out of it. That's yep. what he said. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he get the, the brush. Yep. <laughs> you just beat the devil out of it. You know, Bob Ross has his own energy drink. Really? Yeah. Again, his son not getting a dime. Not of that. a dime of this. No, the Kowalskis own own his nil. Um. So. No, no, no. Annette and uh, I think Bob Kowalski. Mm. Um. You see their names at the end in the credits. Um. But uh, they own his nil, and so you know when all this stuff has been uh, licensed, you know, like the costume and all the other stuff, like they get that, and his son doesn't get anything. So how nice? Yeah. Right. How, how nice? Yeah. Yeah, he's not happy about that because they may have coerced Bob Ross into that deal, like yeah. while he was ill or something. Yeah, the whole I've deal. Heard, so, I've yes, heard it's not that, good. That something shady went down there at yeah. the end. And... But the uh, Kowalskis are also very litigious, so upon hearing this entire segment, they may sue us. So, <laughs> so let's go out with a bang. <laughs> That's right. Who do you want to be the coach? Our lines are open here: eight six six two eight five four zero zero five. Um, let's see here. What do we have? Um. Okay, there's an eclipse glasses joke. Um, that's uh, pretty good. Um, all right. Well, then you know we've got it all covered here. We got people reacting on the uh, McLarty right. hotline with the texts, and uh, we've got one person who's like, "I hope you're all wrong." I, and, uh, we, who knows? At well, this we don't point, know. I mean, you know, it the, would be a well. It, I would say it's unprecedented, but you know, um, 17 years ago today, Dana Altman had a job and then went back to the old one and everybody in omaha was like yeah okay <laughs> sounds great so absolutely not unprecedented he is i i actually looked this article up today because you know i'm a history nerd um no we didn't know that we didn't know them no yeah. no that's news it was 17 years ago today that uh dana altman wow, had the uh had the loading ago? dock uh wow. you know, where they, they caught up with him in the loading dock when he announced he was leaving to my knowledge this is tied for the least anyone has worked as a coach. Dane Altman one day. Mm. Greg Marshall in 2006 
was at College of Charleston for one day. Okay. Now this article yeah, he, is he old, was, so this from, may have uh, changed. Wich- or went to Wichita State yeah. after that, right? In what 19- ever happened to him? Well, I think he got disgraced at uh, Wichita State, and then I, I don't know where okay. he is. I now. can't remember what happened to him. He Maybe he's in the G two, League or something. Yeah, yeah. Bobby Crimmins had the South Carolina job for two days. I remember that. And Rick Majerus, and this ties it all together. In 2004, Rick Majerus had the USC job for three days. Mm. <laughs> so, Even he knew it. So. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, man. My dad was good friends with him when he was at Marquette. Who? Rick Majerus. Was he at Marquette? Mm-hmm. Yep. When he was, was at that? Marquette when I, was at, when I lived in Wisconsin. So it would have been definitely 85, 86. Hold on here. By the way, that's our next. Uh, that's the next suggestion. Hmm. Uh, bring in Rick Majerus to no, be the head coach. That's not going to work. Well, that would fall under the. Right. Um, um, he's no longer with us. Uh, <laughs> situation there. Uh, he was at Marquette from '83 to '86. Yeah. yeah, my dad did some stuff with him. He's a nice guy, from what I remember. Yeah. You know, I have twelve-year-old Zach. You know, he was just a very large man that coached basketball. Yes, uh, he's a really in, nice in guy. In a sweater, which yep. had to be. He must not have sweated very. Oh much. no, no, he sweated right through it. Like a right through it, like a woman of ill repute in church. <laughs> really, like, I can't say the other thing. I can't say the other what thing? What, what the what the real saying is? All right, you know, okay. hookers don't count. Like a hooker in church. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, yeah. All right, That's fine. Something. On the front row. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, there we are. We've got, uh, you know, now we wanted to do one of the things we wanted to do here, and maybe we'll do it here in a second. By the way, we've got the DQ's thoughts. Yeah. Uh, she'll yeah. be uh, from the wilderness. Uh, uh, check on in. that. Uh, where, where will you, uh, what part of the planet will you be in when, <laughs> uh, when you do that? Ooh, I don't know. Okay. Um, but I, well, we talked a couple of weeks ago about album covers. Yes. Mm. So I have my personal favorites. Oh, okay. Or like just ones that came to mind. Album covers. All right. The day is mine. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll get to that. Tell me all need Jesus. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> what is your mother's up? Never mind. <laughs> Did we stop now or what? Yes, all right, we've, we've lost all control oh, here now. Man. We've lost all control. <laughs> yes, be in Arkansas and hit that line.com. Yeah. <laughs> <minutes back. laughs> the tray is mine, Trebek. <laughs> no, that's so. I'll take swords for 400. Bet Saracen is Arkansas's favorite sports betting app. And if you'd like to make a little investment on your favorite sporting event, Bet Saracen is right there on your phone. You got uh, all kinds of stuff going on right now in the springtime, and Bet Saracen is where you want to be because Vegas odds are fine and dandy, but you have to be there to legally bet those odds. And Arkansas law prevents the big, icky national apps from operating in our state. So, for the most accurate and up to date sports wagering info, you need to be on the Bet Saracen app. Just go to the App Store and download Bet Saracen or go to betsaracen.com. App Store, Bet Saracen, or betsaracen.com. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. 866 285 4005. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ziprecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hug, Chuck. 
Will your bracket be better than Matt Jones, Derek Ruskin, and the rest of the ESPN Arkansas team? Then prove it. Sign up for the HitThatLine.com Bracket Challenge presented by On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill in Fayetteville, 810 Billiards and Bowling in Fort Smith, and Shelter Insurance Agent Chris Dooley. Registration is easy. Just find the contest on HitThatLine.com. The HitThatLine.com Bracket Challenge is also brought to you in part by Walk On Sports Bistro, Century Bank of the Ozarks, Cafe Con Chisme, Links at Chaffee Crossing, and Foghorn's Wings. Welcome to McClarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McClarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McClarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Needing an electrician? Call the pros at Mr. Sparky. All of our certified electricians provide five-star electrical work. If you have problems with an outlet, blown fuse, ceiling fan, need a panel replacement, or even a safety check, we've got you covered. Day or night, 24-7. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You can trust your electrical work with Mr. Sparky. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888 sparky when you're looking for your next side-by-side motorcycle, ATV, or zero-turn mower, look no further than your local Wood Power Sports store. With convenient locations in Springdale, Fayetteville, and Harrison, we've got nine brands to choose from. If you can think of it, we've probably got it. These three convenient locations also provide you with outstanding service and parts capabilities. Want to know more? Visit us online at woodpowersports.com. Pick your brand, location, or shop all three. We look forward to earning your business. Wood Power Sports, a solid name you can trust. This is Joey Phillips, Gill Mortgage. When you're looking for a home loan, you're looking for a company that is local, experienced, honest, hardworking, and has the loan programs to fit your needs from USDA, VA, FHA to conventional. That's what you'll find here at Gill Mortgage. Stop by and see us at 816 North Main Street, Harrison, Arkansas, online at gillmortgage.com, or call us at 870-416-3755. Gill Mortgage Company, equal housing opportunity, company MLS 3274, individual MLS 410478. All loans subject to underwriting approval, terms and conditions may apply, subject to change without notice. Welcome to McClarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McClarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McClarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. Discover your dream pool at Burton Pools and Spas. Dive into our massive outdoor pool showroom, one of the largest in the nation. Conveniently situated off I-49 in Springdale, the Burton Pools and Spas showroom features 10 stunning in-ground pool installations, eight distinct fiberglass pool models, discounts up to $12,000. Visualize your backyard oasis before making your commitment and get ready for a splashing summer. At Burton, we don't just build swimming pools, we build long-term relationships. Hi, the folks. I'm Chief Meteorologist RV Body. The 4029 Get Ready Weather Forecast. Well, that wind we had all day today will calm down a little bit as we go throughout the night. And we'll be waking up the temperatures near freezing in northwest Arkansas tomorrow morning. So a chilly start to our Thursday into Thursday afternoon. Now, wind will pick back up a little bit, but uh, we'll just call it breezy, normal breezy. 
on Thursday with sunshine, a little bit warmer, high temperatures in the low 60s, dropping back to near freezing Friday morning, even warmer for Friday afternoon with highs back in the upper 60s with mostly sunny skies. That's to get ready weather only on 4029. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. Welcome to the entertaining portion of the broadcast day. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitThatLine.com. News is brought to you by the Good Chair. Had to have a place to sit. Uh, the good Chair only at the stadium shop. Stop by and tell Robert Joe Bottom it sucks. He would like a seat in the Good Chair. No news yet. We don't know anything. Reports surfaced yesterday. Eric Musselman was the leading candidate for the University of Southern California's vacant head coaching position. He's 115 and 59 overall, 47 and 42 in SEC play. DQ reported <laughs> earlier today that uh, Danielle Musselman was at yoga today. Or, ooh, yeah, that's a that's well, a nugget on her on her on her Insta. I just saw that she reposted that of um some gym. Okay. Hey, right, what's a, what, It seemed right. to be that she was at. The gym she goes to. Okay. What's the number for the uh, basketball office over there? Uh, we can just call him. Say, hey, is he in? <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody thought of that? Uh, if any of you uh, sources guys just thought about that, like, uh, hey, uh, 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 a Razorback basketball office. How many director call? Uh, yeah, yeah. Is Muscleman in? <laughs> I'll get him. Hang on. <laughs> Has yeah. anybody thought of that? Yeah, no, what no. if he picked up? <laughs> go, go see if there's a car in his spot. There you go. These things happen. Anyway, baseball team on Wack Day State last night out of bomb, 13 to nothing. Uh, they got Mississippi uh, this weekend. The Ruskin and Zach Expos brought to you by our good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale, 479 225 8809 for all of your heat and air needs. Uh, we are in the Elite Eight of our other stuff bracket. Uh, do you yeah. like a, a good non smoking section or brunettes? And again, all apologies to the gingers who were not represented. 80.1% of you uh, said brunettes. Uh, hamburgers or showers in the morning? For 56.3% of you like the uh, good old burger. Soft pretzels, do you want salt on it or mustard? 62.3% of you said salt. And have you ever used the 7 button on your microwave? 76.4% of you said no. You're a Ruskin and Zach Expos brought to you by our good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479-225-8809 for all of your heat and air needs. Boy, nobody's got a phone number listed over there. Wow. Well, no. But if you go to the website, it's there. No, I'm looking at the website. Really? Not there. Oh, yeah. Did they have yeah. email address? Uh, let's see. You can uh, no, you click on a bio and it's just a bio. I said, let's just call. Hey, is he over there? Is he in? DQ, make that call. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> wow, that's uh, that's surprising. All right, well, we'll work on this. We got a little uh, side project to work on here for a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll look on this. All right, 866-285-4005. That's our, that's our number. You can get to us. Sure. We're not on. hiding from you. No. We're here. We're here on the McCarty Daniel Hotline on Ruskin and Zach. Glad you're, uh, glad you're with us. Got it right here. Oh, you do? Who do you want to call? Right. I call the bas- <laughs> uh, just call the, the, the switchboard. What is the switchboard? It used to be five seven five two thousand. It did. That's right. I don't, I don't think that's what it is yeah, anymore. I don't think it is. Yeah. Those, they still use five seven five. Oh, really? Yeah, well, that's no, the they're, beginning they're all, of all their numbers. Yeah, well, there's a couple of there's a four four three on here. There's a, but most of them are five seven five. There, yeah, that guy won't take our call. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, you're going down the list. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like how many of these people would actually take our call? Um, Hunter Yurichek. I'm gonna go no. Um, oh, he might. He called us once. That's true. Again, I still don't know. I, he had no idea what was he going on. They just handed him a phone. It's a talk. He her. definitely won't take our call. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, she wouldn't take our call. No chance. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, here it is. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I've got his cell number. We called oh, both of them. Oh, the, oh, 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 hello? What are you doing? Uh, are you talking to the athletic director, Cohen? Hey, what's where are you at, man? You send at? me a pin. Who where are you at? Who is new phone? Can we get him to send you a pin? That'd Can be you cool, see where he is. Right? That'd be something. Uh, Zach just got a pin, and he is uh, actually <laughs> sitting in Fayetteville. Oops, <laughs> my bad. He's in, he's in <laughs> <laughs> been, been here the whole time, man. I'm 
I'm just here having a sandwich, living my life. What's everybody so freaked yeah. out about? That gum. <laughs> <laughs> Been here the whole time. Oh, man. Oh, well. If you just got in the truck, yeah, we have no news to report. Zero. And we're Absolutely going to sit none. here silently until there is news to report, all right? Set the alarm off. Thank you. That'd be awesome. This is Must Watch 2024. He was parked outside the Finstas, the Instas, and the Xs. That's right. Yeah. Is Danielle in LA yet? Oh, I can look. Okay. Now yeah, check that out. Right, right. We'll look at that. Are we tracking planes? No, we're more so we're, we're stalkers. We're not really plane trackers on this show. Yeah. I mean, we've got the Q. She is very she careful. Hasn't, she hasn't posted anything besides okay. that one thing this morning. Which was in town. Which was in town. Oh. And that was a story, and stories expire. Expire. So that's why I'm thinking she was in town. Okay. Okay. Well, she right. hasn't left yet. I like that. No. Okay. All right. We'll keep DQ on the uh, the stalking thing. If Eric- I'm stalking someone, though, I'm really careful. The um, Eric and Greenwood would like to call this the must fuss. <laughs> not bad. It's not, it's not the worst thing I've heard. You know, not, good not- first effort. Yeah, like that. No. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Skeeter wants to know your electric bill. What happened there? You were trying to go for fifty bucks. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, didn't happen. The cold snap got me. Oh man, yeah, we were in what the sixties. Still not a terrible electric bill. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it was like sixty-two bucks, but the, the cold snap, the three or four-day cold snap, where I had to turn the heat on. Really, I'll, I'll try again in April. Okay, they just oh, need nice. the weather to be a little bit. May, May's looking good because it's not too hot. And I don't have to turn on my uh, my AC. The last week of May can be tough. It can if be. You get up you, there. Look, if I'm if I'm close, and I look, I can go out to the meter. I know the number I'm looking for. Um, <laughs> he knows the if, meter. If, I, if I'm close, you know the uh, meter. You I, know the people. I do. I, I if I'm close <laughs> on the meter, I will uh, I will shut the AC down. I'll shut everything off. <laughs> all right. Let's hear what Ben and Fayetteville has to say about all this. Hello, Ben. Guys, this must watch is crazy, and uh, I, I don't know where it's going. But here's here's. The difficult problem I see must leave. That's a real kick in the, you know, that area for the basketball team. We all see the writing on the wall for the football team with Pittman and basically Petrino is the coach in waiting. I mean, that's the two major sports here, and both coaches are either leaving or going to be asked to leave in the same year because I just see the football program winning maybe five games, four games. I've heard you guys talk about that as well. But this puts a lot of pressure on Juracek. And then you guys are talking about Juracek possibly going to A&M. I mean, well, no, 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 no. He was a candidate for the job. Yeah, they hired a guy, right? Yeah, they hired Trev Albert. Okay, a candidate. a candidate for the job. I mean, this is there's a lot of smoke here. There's a lot of drop. I mean, this is better than, like, that show Yellowstone, man. <laughs> I mean, this is, like, the drama <laughs> central. I mean, this is good. This is This is good. This is good content. You guys don't really have to talk about sports, but you can still kind of like mix in a cocktail or a little sniffer of sports with this. But here, here's the other alternative. One of my one of my friends that lives in an alternate reality. He said Musselman went to USC to recruit Ronnie James to come to Fayetteville. <laughs> have you heard of this? Have you heard of this? No, I've not heard this. No, <laughs> he no. is in the portal though. He, he is. Obviously, it's a lie. Obviously, it's a lie, but it's hilarious. You know, everybody has friends so close in the program, working in Musa's office. You know, everybody knows people that are in there. I mean, I don't know how we don't know everything because everybody's got a friend mm. close in the program. You guys take care of the best radio station in Northwest Arkansas in the afternoon between two and four or something, something like that. All right. Thank you. Well, what a compliment. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Th- thanks, Ben. <laughs> I think uh, Robert and Bull Scholes is correct. Slow your roll there, big boy. We're a baseball school. They are winning the national title this year. Big Mike would like to trade Muss for Brawny straight up. Think, you know what? That's a headache for a migraine. I don't know that you're, right. <laughs> you're, you're really trading up there. Uh, Whoa, uh, man, that's perfect. Yeah, I don't think you're. I don't think you're winning there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, man. That's fantastic. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Uh, this is ESP at Arkansas and hit that line.com. And Ben says we're uh, pretty good between uh, two, two and, and four. four. Yeah. 
Well, after four, though, it's yeah. curtains. It's, it's, it's wide open it's not at that good. point, yeah. It's not good at that point. It, it gets very bad uh, at that point. I did have a – I wanted to get this into um, – well, we got a minute here. Yep. I did want to give an update on my pro football focus situation. Remember uh, yesterday yes. or Monday I was unable to cancel because their website crapped out? I very swiftly got a um, response on Monday from PFF, and they said, we have canceled the account. There you go. So uh, customer service, A+. plus. So I take back all the icky things I said about them on Monday. They did a very nice job of rectifying the situation. So well, I'm how very about happy that? about that. And I'll be uh, using them again come uh, September when uh, football starts. So uh, there it is. Uh, all right. It is uh, uh, DQ's Got Thoughts uh, coming right up here in a moment on Ruskin and Zach. There you are. This is Ruskin and Zach. And our fan base, again, is obnoxious as shit on social so everyone hates us espn arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com mclarty daniel a vehicle for every lifestyle Welcome to McLarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McLarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McLarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McLarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McLartyDaniel.com. Hey, it's Derek Ruskin. Let me tell you about Michelle and Adam. They decided they wanted to relocate their family, but they quickly realized that the process of selling their home in Rogers was far more daunting than they had anticipated. So they decided to reach out to the Limburg Real Estate Group. They enlisted the Limburg team to help them in selling their home, hoping that their expertise would expedite the process. Well, to their delight, the Limburg Real Estate Group exceeded their expectations. The team's efficient marketing strategies quickly attracted potential buyers to their home. Within a month, They received an offer that they were happy with, and they were able to close the deal in record time. Thanks to the Lindbergh team's seamless support, Michelle and Adam were able to transition smoothly to their next chapter. They were able to move faster than they had anticipated, settling into their new home with ease. They were grateful for the team's expertise, which made the daunting task of selling their home a breeze. I would trust Tara Lindbergh if I was selling my home, and you should as well. Find out more about it at LindberghTeam.com. L-I-M-B-I-R-D. He's a former coach with two sons who played professional basketball. Satch Sullinger is a competitive individual, but his golf game was suffering because of painful joints. Right. That's real important. The golf game. Right. As we get older, we create these bad habits because we're relegated to hit a certain way. QC Kinetics used regenerative treatments, all natural healing properties from Satch's own body to restore those damaged joints and get his golf game back on track. QC Kinetics regenerative medicine is regenerating me. All natural. And that's what I'm about. I'm going to tell everybody why I'm better. Oh, and by the way, it looks like the competitive Satch is back. We're all in the same boat, and I'm getting better, and I'm watching them stay old. Go to QCKinetics.com. Get relief and your game back. Call for your complimentary consultation. Call QC Kinetics, 479-999-1234. That's 479-999-1234. 479-999-1234. Your Mach 1 market moment. And inflation is something we've been talking about for a long, long, long time. It's trickling into 24. It's still here. Yeah. You know, it's it's a different conversation than it was a year ago. You know, and I like this, how are Americans feeling? Yeah. You know, we see clients in our office every day, all ages, demographics. And I would say that there might be a slight tick up in optimism, but, you know, there, there's still some pessimism. Oh, there. for sure. Some- some concern I mean, I, here in North I just had a conversation with a client yesterday that they were like things everything's so expensive yeah just the basics of going to the grocery store and you walk out with two bags and it was 150 bucks and that's a very real thing that getting the basics yeah. and trying to get by day to day and it's costing a lot of money these days to do that visit mach1fg.com to hear the whole conversation and get your investment questions answered for full disclosures visit mach-1financial.com forward slash disclosure the madness continues at mad rooster beer company in fayetteville mad rooster brews high quality innovative beer selections including ipas stouts fruited sours and seltzers across their 30 taps mad rooster has eight big screens and key game audio so you won't miss a single minute of the action don't settle for an ordinary watch party when you can experience all the madness at mad rooster mad rooster beer company 
brewed locally in Fayetteville at 1107 Southwest Avenue. WT Equipment is your home for New Holland ag and construction equipment, sales, parts, and service for high horsepower row crop tractors and combines, utility tractors and hay equipment, compact track loaders, and mini excavators. WT Equipment has it all. Stop by one of their eight locations to explore the value of New Holland tractors and see why New Holland hay equipment and twin rotor combines are second to none in harvesting ability. Need to upgrade your construction equipment fleet? Give WT Equipment a call. Come by a store or check out their website, wtequip.com. Have you heard? The Pleasure Playground just got a little bigger. Cupid's is growing. That's right. Cupid's Lingerie just opened its newest naughty location in Fayetteville at Crossover and Mission in the Walmart Shopping Center. Cupid's is a boutique specializing in all things pleasure and play. From lingerie to, well, everything you can imagine and more. Visit shopcupids.com today and treat someone special to something special. Cupid's Lingerie in Bentonville, Springdale, and now in Fayetteville. Cupid's Lingerie. Enjoy. ESPN 99.5. Giving you the entertainment you deserve. Here's Ruskin and Zach. I have a low IQ. We got that. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's, we got that. 866-285-4005. You want to uh, talk to us? On the McClarty Daniel Hotline, you may do that if you'd like. Or you can uh, you know, sit there and just listen quietly, whatever you want to do. All right, uh, your drive home is powered by Mr. Sparky. Need a licensed electrician to service one. your home? Give us a jingle, uh, or uh, just uh, use uh, this one. Woo. You don't have to put up with any malarkey called 888 Sparky. For local pros, call Mr. Sparky. Every stereotype that you have towards French people, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Look, another player has rung the bell. That means he did his personal best. Venus trephobia is the fear of beautiful women. Man, I don't have that. Woo pig. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Uh, Must watch 24 continues here. 866-285-4005 is how uh, we can, uh, you can uh, talk to us here on the McCarty Daniel Hotline. We also have um, uh, DQ's thoughts coming up here yeah. in a very uh, brief moment or two. Uh, <laughs> let's let's hear what that they are. Let's uh let's figure it out. Um all right. So everybody's uh, going through it right now and uh are any does anyone have a coach hot board going? Uh, I bet they're all well, ready I, and you I, just have to get published, right? I think you have to wait until the job is open. Don't you? Because oh, you're gonna feel kind of silly if he gets back off the plane. It's like I'm back. That is a pretty big big just booger. Kid. That's a big booger on your face if you uh yeah, mess that up. Yeah. So uh, that's a that that would be a uh, that'd be a problem, I do suppose. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's uh let's get to DQ's thoughts. Let's uh let's break oh, this oh, up oh, a little bit. There right let's, away. let's get oh, a, let's get away from. Uh, we need a brain break from all of this stuff. And um, let's see what uh, what we have here. So DQ is here with her thoughts. So DQ, go go ahead. Okay, just gonna let you know my internet is currently failing, so my camera might shut off. Yeah, it seems to be a Randomly. building building wide. It, it, it appears like uh, it has shut off. Okay. Lost the uh, the Red so, Sox in the bottom of the ninth. I Not apologize happy. for that. Oh, yep, there it goes. Okay. Anyway, so we were talking about album covers. Yes. <laughs> the other day, yes. um, and I've actually thought about that a lot since we talked about it. Um, and so I picked some of my favorite ones. Um. Obviously, I have favorite ones of albums that I like that you guys wouldn't know, so I'm not really going to include those because it would be pointless. Sort of backhanded there, but okay. Um, But also, I just have such a hard time, you know, looking at an album cover for art versus, oh, I didn't like that album, so I'm not going to obviously like the album cover. But anyway, I do have to say... uh, the Taylor Swift's Fearless Taylor's version is one of my favorites only because it's her first Taylor's version Mm -hmm. and the first album cover that she didn't put her name on. So Mm -hmm. that's just, I have to mention. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna start. Those are the that's the O R V. The other okay, right. that's the one that I just have to mention. Okay. <laughs> all right. Fair enough. Okay. Elton John's Yellow or Goodbye yeah. Yellow Brick Road. Yeah, I like the one. ruby Solid. slippers. Okay. Um. Solid first effort. Fleetwood Max rumors because they look like pirates. <laughs> and or they're dressed like pirates right. or old pirates and i just like that album a lot uh elo's out of the blue which i mentioned the other day because it reminds me of a spaceship okay. the blink 182 enema of the state just because the hospital the nurse you know everyone knows that one okay. uh i have two bob dylans on really? here no they are they uh, like like is this entry number three the two bob dylan ones oh sorry these aren't in any order okay okay sorry. Got, gotcha um i like the bob dylan blonde on blonde and then the cover street legal okay. those are my two uh, favorite covers from him i think okay um i also have billy joel's the stranger mm, yeah. yeah i do have um yell or abbey road because I that. think everyone has to, but I also like the Sgt. Pepper album cover. This one, I just recently discovered this album, but Super Tramps Breakfast in America. Why are you with listening the to Super woman Tramp? holding the yeah, breakfast yes. on the plane? Yes. Why are you into Super Tramp? I just like I it's like great, them now. That, that is a great album. And then my last one is David Bowie's Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Super Tramp, huh? Are you listening to Super Tramp? I'm listening. I've listened to that album. Not okay. Not you're not deep diving. I'm not deep diving okay. into them. I'm proud of you. You're you're, you're expanding your musical horizons. You're listening you. to good music. Have you listened to Rumors? Yeah. Okay. I just said that. Okay. I, I didn't know if you'd listen to like the whole thing. Oh yeah, terrific. I love that okay. album. Yeah, Rumors is great. Yeah. All right. Thank you, DQ. Thank you, DQ. Look sorry, the you. camera crapped out. Yeah. No, it's okay. no, no, I'm we're sorry. Back. We're we had yeah. A, we my computer turned not, back on. It's not in the thing though. Here. Oh, so it's not the not on the it's not in my screen yet yes all right thank you there's dq's thoughts on uh what's going on here um all righty back to must watch here on your drive home powered by mr sparky uh sumo has texted the only man that can save the program is uh jackie moon well yeah I'm, you're looking for a bear in a cage is that they uh <laughs> coach star player and owner of the flint michigan tropics the trops, yeah absolutely let's get tropical DQ, you've seen Semi Pro, right? No. The Will Ferrell movie. Mm -mm. Okay. I don't mind. like Will Ferrell all that much. Uh, DQ's back on the screen. There Why? You go. I don't know. What do, what do you have against Will Ferrell? Just something about him. Huh. So, you know, he's his from... movies aren't. I is... like Step Brothers. Oh, is he from Arkansas too? No, 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 no. But he is a USC grad. Oh well, maybe right. he's got some uh, right. clout here. Yeah. On this, uh... the, the School of Film, which also gave us Steven Spielberg and countless yes, others yes yeah. he, it's he's one of the he's biggest big usc yeah. guy yeah yeah i just don't um like like there's a couple of things at play here by the way um i wrote down wwfd what would frank do mm -hmm. frank would have fired him yesterday oh right? yeah, yeah. I had a frank would have fired muscleman yesterday frank. right well i just hey I don't, take your ass to california i don't boy. i don't yeah, if you want to go to california right. you can go right Frank would have fired him on the tarmac. Packed his bags. Get out. Frank would have thrown his stuff on the yeah, front yeah, yard. He would, of the yeah, he would have gone to his house throwing his stuff in the front yard. Get out. Get out. Yep. There's no question. <laughs> Frank didn't mess around. Man. No. No. Didn't he do this once? Yeah. Someone was interviewed for a job and he fired him? Yeah. Get happy. <laughs> yeah. Get happy. Get happy. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And, and to add insult to injury, he went and got to Jack Crow right off the plane. Like, you come with me. You're the new coach. <laughs> Uh, Jamie Favel says, "Didn't Snoop's uh, kid play at USC? No, he played uh, like, at UCLA. Like, and it, like ten years ago, we, we've looked this up recently. What? No, it was in the teens. Um, um, okay, five years ago. Yeah, it was like it was like fifteen or sixteen. He only played one year, and he didn't play. No. Yeah, he's uh, he's not. Uh, you're, you're not getting him. Okay. Snoop or, or Snoop's not. No, 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 he's a big SC guy too. Yeah, yeah a big yeah. fan well, out there. He is for whoever's winning." <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, so uh there you go. Now um so I was thinking about that. The other thing I was thinking about is this is so this is such an unusual uh, spot. Nobody has left here 
for another P5 job since Hatfield. No. I, I, and then, not uh, not and, in the major sport. And in basketball since uh, Eddie Sutton, quote unquote, crawled all the way to Kentucky back in the 80s. Uh, so uh, this is not uh, this is not something that is normal. It hasn't happened in basketball in like 40 years where a coach has left for another. Uh, some uh, some uh, things understandable at the time. Arkansas was in the SWC. You know, Kentucky, a blue blood in the SEC. Yeah. That made sense. You understood right. that. Um, but no, I mean, and, this and is... they were six, seven years removed from a national title right. in '78, I think. Right? right. Yeah. Under, under what? Joe B. Hall. Joe B. Hall. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. So yeah. Um, but, uh, that's, uh, but that, this, this does not happen. Uh, no, all not, that, not, uh, not that often, no, all that, uh, all that often around here, but it, it's not about, it doesn't seem like to me, it's not about thinking USC is better than Arkansas because a hundred out of a hundred people, Jeff Goodman hates our guts here in Arkansas, the college basketball writer. He said today, that's the second best job in the SEC. So even yeah. he gives us the flowers, even though he hates everything about Arkansas and Mike Anderson in particular, uh, for whatever reason. Um, but um, it's not about leveling up. It's apparently just about getting out of here. That's what it is that, on the on a, any train that'll take you. Uh, that appears to be the uh, the case that he wanted to go to the West Coast. And this was the first job that popped open. And uh, he just wants out of this. And, sure. you know, if that's if that's the way you feel. OK, cool. Got it. I just I find it so weird how we got here that I mean, after the success that, you know, we're at this point where this is an irreconcilable deal. And, you know, he's going to coach, you know, look, I was born and raised to hate the University of Southern California. Yes. This is deep in my I hate USC. This is personal. And and if Eric, if you're listening, that place is a dump and it's a <laughs> dead end and you don't want to go there. The people are miserable. They're miserable human beings. Yeah, it's just an awful place. It's it's hell on earth. You don't like it. I can't stand that place. Even their film school that Even gave us uh, Steven Spielberg right. and maybe Horribly Robert Zemeckis. Steven no. Spielberg, <laughs> what's he done? <laughs> Will Ferrell. Yeah, a bunch of cheaters is what they are. God, I hate USC. <laughs> now go to UCLA. At least it's in you know it's it's right around the corner <laughs> from the Playboy Mansion. It's in a, it's in nine zero two one zero. No, you're you're going like downtown LA. Ugh. Well, anyway, not a fan. Oh, I hate USC. Look, we, we, yeah, that's, Ugh. Ugh. we've gathered that. Um, but no, I appreciate your candor on the uh, on the matter. Oh, yeah. You you want to know about USC? I could go on for days. Punks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible. Place. It's just a horror. You don't like it? Uh, you know what? I've been on the campus. Four John times. Wayne went to USC's film. School. I rest my case. Uh, I've, been on, what? I've been, been on the campus four times. It got worse every time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. You know, outside of the sun shining and it being 72 every day, um, you, you're still in Los Angeles. But my God, Eric, the taxes. Yeah, the taxes are going to kill you. <laughs> the taxes. <laughs> oh, well. Um, so, so Zach's not a uh, particular uh, proponent of the uh, University of uh, Southern California. Well, look. If, if this is this is a guy, I mean, this is a place it, that is so backwards in their thinking, they will not even acknowledge Reggie Bush, yeah. the the 2005 Heisman Trophy winner. However, DQ, OJ Simpson, free reign. OJ <laughs> stuffs all over the place. <laughs> I've been in the Hall of Champions. There's a 32 jersey up there, oh, man. That, they love must, them some OJ. Did you bring a vomit bag with you? Oh. I can't imagine you in the Hall of Champions at I USC. Was, well, first of all, I was out there for a game. I knew Notre Dame was going to win. And oh, I was okay. uh, I was having a good day that day, yeah. um, and they did. They won by twenty eight. It's yeah. great. You but, think uh, SC, You think the uh, holdup could be USC getting a little bit of a uh, of uh, the cold feet on this situation? No, it's two forty five out there. It, That's plenty of time. It, it, I would I would imagine that again. You're not you're not getting on that plane and going out there to have to have a meet and greet. This is done. What about this? Mm. What about this? What if? Um, the backlash campaign has given USC pause. And now Hunter and Eric, who clearly hate each other's guts, um, now they have to work together again. Well, what's that gonna USC be? USC like? doesn't send the plane <laughs> unless <laughs> unless it's a done deal. And, and you know, here, here's the other thing is will, will he succeed there? Look, here's another thing. California high school athletics is grossly overrated. 
uh, there are good players, but they're not. It's not and, Texas. It's not Florida. And as we've learned over the five years, he's not great at building a roster. No, and he's he, and and here's. I mean, if you're going to be in the city of Los Angeles, you're going to have to recruit high school kids. He hates high. School he kids. hates high school kids. <laughs> he he does not want to bring in high school kids. So this well, is but he's going to do what he's done. He's going to get he's, nine portal right. guys well, and you know do that uh, thing. What, you know, selling kids on on Los Angeles might be easier than it is Fayetteville. But Hollywood. You're also going into the Big Ten. You're right near the beach. News Flash. Illinois is in there. Uh, <laughs> Michigan State's and these oh, are teams yeah. that will lock you down and beat you. So yeah. you know, good luck. I mean, have fun. But I I, I don't know. I I don't know. I I. I I, if it was UCLA, I totally get it, but it's USC and it is a it's a dead end job. Maybe they've been calling and people have been telling you what what misery it is working there. You know they don't have to go far. Uh, no. that, that um that uh, Gus Arjanel is out there in Southern California mm-hmm. now. At a at a Gus Arjanel hated working for him so badly. He took a D2 job, man. Well, he, he, D2 took a, job. he took a head coaching job, which he, still if, it's D2. If he wants to be a head coach, you need head coaching experience. But it's you D2, know, though. but your point is, the coaching tree. Nobody has has jumped to a job. Nobody's call, come down and, and hired one of his assistants. What does that? You know, is that a thing? I don't know. He's only been here five years, but you know that that's another thing to look at. It, it is a, it's a grind, I, and it's a grind working for anybody. But he is incredibly intense, and and I don't. The other thing is, I don't know how his mannerisms are going to play in Los Angeles. Well, no you flash gotta, he's still out there. You got to put your best foot forward here on you. You you play the game here. Well, and you, hey, how you doing? Right. And, I mean, then you get in there and get the job and then you can turn into a right. I, but you've got and, and I mean, the L.A. Times wrote a hit piece on uh, on uh, Kim Mulkey and her group it wasn't the one out of the Washington Post, but and, and then they and retracted. The, it. And then the guy has walked all of that back. Yeah. But now you're going to have a guy like that sitting in your backyard. And, you know, if things don't go well. They don't hold back. This is major market. This is market number two. These are the prof- these are in journalism. These are the professionals. These are the best we got, and and they don't hold back. And, yeah, we're not uh, out know, he, there. He, he's, well, no, I mean that's why that's why we're here. But they will not hold back. They if they see that he, this is not working, they're going to call them on it. And they they don't have that filter that they there aren't a lot of USC basketball sympathizers. You don't have a well, whole state that's... going. You don't have a you don't have a, a the the news anchor at Channel Seven. Uh, you know, run and run interference for you. Look, if uh, you know, let's be honest here. Okay, if if they lose on a Tuesday night to Northwestern, no one's going to care. Probably not. If they are on a nationally televised game and he shows his hind end mm-hmm. and they lose, that's when they will pounce right. on him. But just routine, you know, if he has a normal January like he has, which is pretty bad. I don't think anybody will care because although we talking no, about no, can no, the no, Lakers figure and I'm it out, talking, and I'm talking about you know the, the the antics stuff. But I mean, this is a I mean, this is the, the LA Times went after Chip Kelly, uh, the week of the SC US uh, the SC UCLA game, and Chip is now the offensive coordinator at Ohio State. He hated yeah. it so much. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a different but world. the taxes, my yeah. God. I mean, you're li- you're, you're living and working in a pro sports environment, and yeah. they are much le- they they there are no shills for you out there. Especially for USC basketball, you may have some for USC football, but um, you are several pegs down that down down that uh, ladder uh, if you're going to SC. Yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, they're they're winning this coach coached in the 1940s. Right. I mean, hell, song girls are more popular than USC. Oh, basketball. absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, they they're 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 the greatest player in program history. Who would you rather have, Harold Miner or Todd Day? Uh, Todd Day. Uh, thank you. Yes. Harold Miner couldn't make the all-time top five at Arkansas. <laughs> right. He wouldn't be one of the five best players to right. ever play there. Yeah. But the point of all this is it's not about, well, that's a better job. It's a bigger market. No, no. It, it, he just wants to get the F out of here. That's what it is. Yeah. He hates us for reasons that are not clear. Uh, it or, mean, it he that hate, I... or, or again, Dr. Freud, he hates himself so much he self-sabotages. And that's what he it wants has, to leave. It has nothing to do with the fans. It, it, nothing to do with the fans. I think it has everything to do with the working environment. That, that he's in, but he creates the terrible working environment. Well, you see, he's <laughs> yes. in charge. Yes. Like if you don't like your situation, change it. You're not a tree. You know I mean? You can, you can yeah. do something about it if you don't like it. So, so I don't know. And, and I, you know, just based on the video that went out, um, you know, I, it's, it's both Ooh. ways. I mean, there's some give and take uh, from the administration side too. 
Yeah, but I mean, all these coaches are jerks. So there's a you, you, if there's having if they're successful, you just live with it. Nick I mean, that's what you do. A jerk. But he had a good relationship with his boss. Right. Um, but like Nick Saban. they're not they're not running him out of town because he's a jerk. No. You would never do that. You just figure out a way to manage it. But Bobby Petrino was and probably is still a jerk, but they didn't run him out in 2010. Uh, you figure it out. Um, that that's what you do because all these guys. If you don't have, if you have a coach who's not a jerk, you probably have a bad coach. I mean, seriously. So you just you, that's not what it's about. But uh, I don't know. This the longest he stayed anywhere is here. He made it five years. He stayed in Rapid City for five years. Mm. And that's the longest he's a, so this is a, tied for the longest, longest college job. Obviously, he's only had two, but, you know, that's how that works. All right, Drive Home Powered by Mr. Sparky. We'll be back here with a, more of Must Watch 24 here on ESPN Arkansas. And hit that line.com. Windy Wednesday out there. Hold on to your hats. I'm Brandon Evans. This is your 4029 News Live local late-breaking update. We're continuing to track the waterline break, impacting a handful of communities, including Bentonville and Cave Springs. Officials say everyone has water now, although pressure is still impacted. The good news, they say there are no contamination issues. Tune in tonight for a report from 4029's Abner Sosa. Also tonight, our Phil Reed has the latest on the housing crisis in Fayetteville and what's being done to address it. Weather-wise, cooling down again tonight with frost expected, even some freezes. So bundle up tomorrow morning. Chief Meteorologist Darby Bybee has that and your eclipse forecast. And speaking of the eclipse, Brett Rains is in Greenwood where they're discussing the city's plans at a town hall. He'll have those takeaways tonight. And for those who don't have those eclipse-safe sunglasses yet, Arkatani Gooch explains the dangers of looking up without proper protection. I'm Brandon Evans. Don't forget, everything we're covering is always available online or with the free 4029 News app. At Shelter Insurance, we believe insurance should adjust to fit your needs. We work to design an insurance plan that's particular to you. Insurance that fits just right. And Shelter Insurance ranked number one in customer satisfaction among auto insurers in the central region five out of the last six years by J.D. Power. Satisfied customers and a plan for you. Ready to check us out? Call J.T. Finley at 479-521-4220 or come by and see him for a quote at 2142 North College Avenue in Fayetteville. Richard's Country Meat Market has everything you need for an old-fashioned crawfish boil. Live crawfish, shrimp, sausage, corn, and potatoes. Give Richard a call by Wednesday to place your crawfish order and pick it up on Friday. While you're there, choose from mild to spicy seasonings for a delicious Cajun crawfish boil. Plus, Richard's has the best selection of fresh fish like salmon and cod. With over 25 years of business, you know Richard's Country Meat Market is the only place to get top choice and prime meat. Teddy Jean hams, fresh fish, crawfish, and in-house season. Richard makes it easy with in-store and curbside pickup. To place your order, call ahead at 479-443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville. One block east of College and Rolling Hills Drive. For curbside pickup and to place your crawfish order, call Richard's Country Meat Market at 443-0000. 443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville. 479-443-0000. When you're looking for your next side-by-side motorcycle, ATV, or zero-turn mower, look no further than your local Wood Power Sports store. With convenient locations in Springdale, Fayetteville, and Harrison, we've got nine brands to choose from. If you can think of it, we've probably got it. These three convenient locations also provide you with outstanding service and parts capabilities. Want to know more? Visit us online at woodpowersports.com. Pick your brand, location, or shop all three. We look forward to earning your business. Wood Power Sports, a solid name you can trust. Hey, it's James Teague. Over the years playing baseball, I've grown accustomed to closing innings, but now I'm closing cases. With almost 30 years in the business, the Teague Law Firm can help you with all family law matters, including divorce, custody, and child support. We can also help with criminal law, such as traffic offenses, DWIs, and more. Call me at the Teague Law Firm at 479-877-1688. That's 479-877-1688. Visit us online at teague-law.com. Teague Law Firm, if they can't help you, they'll talk football. Are you ready for some football? Well, the 2024 Brandon Burlesworth Football Camps will be here soon. 
Learn the game of football from Razorback greats at these half-day camps that are open to students aged 7 to 15 years old. Camp dates are May 31st at F.S. Garrison Stadium in Harrison and June 1st at War Memorial Stadium in Little Rock. Early registration is just $45. And remember, enrollment is limited. So register today at brandonburlsworth.org. You know that crushing feeling when you press print at your PC and the doggone machine just won't print? Well, I fixed that. Hi, I'm Tim Stanley, owner of TDS IT. We are an IT company with a long history in the print channel, and I have fixed the printer conflict by creating my own Northwest Arkansas-based help desk. Call us at 479-575-0770 for more information on how a true IT company can keep all your printers and scanners up and running all the time. Are you ready to upgrade your ride? Head on over to McClarty Daniel Country. McClarty Daniel has over a thousand used cars to choose from, so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget. With six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale, you're never too far away from a great deal. But that's not all. If you're looking for something brand new, they've got you covered there too with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to McClarty Daniel and drive away in the car of your dreams. Online at McClarty Daniel. Daniel.com. AAKS Goshen Fayetteville, K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I miss you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline, 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Way, Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. I hate him. Hi, we're back here on uh, Ruskin and Zach. 866 285 uh, we are here. We're on must watch 24 as uh, we wait to see what the heck's going to happen here with uh, the uh, Arkansas men's basketball program. Your drive home is powered by Mr. Sparky. Need a licensed electrician to service your home? Give us a jingle or just use this one. Woo! You don't have to boom, put up boom, with boom. any malarkey call. 888 Sparky. For local pros, call Mr. Mr. Sparky. Enjoy the pleasure of an Arkansas win wow. and pleasuring yourself to that win, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <sighs> uh, an update on the uh, uh, Zach's uh, Red Sox one. Yeah. Yeah. It was, one uh, wasn't easy. But, uh, yeah, they, they got out of that one. And uh, we switched over to the Yankee game, and Verdugo just hit a 395-foot moonshot. That's uh, Alex Verdugo, who the Red Sox decided wasn't good enough for right. them. So they traded him away the last uh that's who they traded the uh, mookie Betts for that is high that is far so doogie uh takes one deep for the yankees oh um, doogie because he wasn't good enough to play for the teach yankees. me how to doogie and the yankees uh, have a 4-2 lead what would he say what's the home run call for Ooh. for dugo yeah, for sterling go, what is it john sterling was our dance called the doogie yeah Teach me how to doogie. But see, all of John yeah. Sterling's references are from 1950s musicals, well, so I don't okay, think you'll yeah. have the Dougie right. in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good point. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to think about that. I'm sure that, uh, you know, we can actually, he, I think he may be doing this game. I know he and Kay were doing, uh, well, they, they were doing a game. Yeah, he started out in Houston. Uh, like, no, but he and Kay, I think we're doing this game together for the first time. They've been, they're together really? for the first time since 01. When the, oh, game seven wow. of the World Series, oh when they did radio. God. Wow. Boy, who would be interested in any of this? No one. <laughs> I don't think I understand baseball very much. <laughs> it's okay, DQ. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, Juan Soto home run call is a Soto photo. Jeez. 
Uh, and Russ, then he sings. I good, love when he sings. It, it, it makes me smile every time. You know what? God this, bless this is a good question. Yep. Rusty uh, is texting on the McCarty, the McCarty Daniel hotline. Do you think Musk flew commercial for this interview? Here's what no, I would have done. Hold no, on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here's what I would have done. Um, government still controls the airports, right? I wouldn't let USC's plane land. <laughs> I'd have sent it back to LA. <laughs> Don't come get your coach. You're going to drive him. I send right. a car. Send an Uber. Can he's you gonna, do that? He's going to have to ride in the back of a U-Haul with Gus Walensky and the Kenosha Kickers, like uh, like Kevin's mom in Home Alone. South Korea is be a, with some polka bombs. South I mean, Korea's texting. Can we just email his work account to get a status update, like we did with Enos? Yeah. Yes. Hey, fun fact. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yesterday, I uh, we were talking that that got brought up in the uh, in the thing about sports radio, mm-hmm. and one of the girls in the class, and she's like, "You mean when my friend such and such emailed him? Yeah, I know that guy." <laughs> what? <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Did you? I mean, you had to have asked questions, right? Oh yeah, and she's like, "I don't." I mean. It, well, we were like, we were some, we were amazed that he, uh, you know, he did that. Not that he sent the email that he knows responded. He's like, and she was like, I don't know why he did it, but you know, he did it. Hmm. Yeah. Well, he did. She was friends with the guy that, or is friends with the guy that, uh, that emailed him. I know. I, I, I do this. We just got this uh, text, and it's not, a, it's not an us thing, but um, there are some commercials that have some voices on it that are going to have to be pulled mm. if, uh, if those things get. Uh, well, I already had to change some things because uh, no, no, I've no, got no. the Musselman thing in here, and now we no, can't no, play it about anymore. Things that he did and, and she did that will have to be pulled off <laughs> certain broadcasts. Oh, really? Yeah. What broadcast? Uh, Is she in the new U of A commercial? Not. No. I don't think so. Okay. No, I, I don't think so. No, no, no. That I was told that the new U of A commercial has the drum line in it. Oh, okay. Is everybody cool with that? DQ? Well, let me see it first. Well, it's got to be know. better than what they had. What they have is very lame. It's not good. And they don't show basketball at all, which maybe mm-hmm. now we know why. Maybe that's... Oh, my God. Oh, boy. That's what happened. They never put him in the U of A commercial, that, and that's, that's when he wanted to get out. Because that commercial's it. been running for two years. He's been wanting to get out for two years. If they'd have put him in the U of A commercial, maybe this is all avoided. I wouldn't. Have what let a them, shame! I wouldn't have let the plane land. I would have made him. I would have made him hike it to Tulsa. Uh, yes, seventeen twenty-two. You are uh, not approved for uh, arrival. Over. Oh, your ass back to California. Uh, yes, uh, we are not letting you land here uh, in Drake Field. Over. <laughs> if you approach, we will shoot. <laughs> um, I. I uh, this is on uh, orders of the uh, University of Arkansas. We have to have a air traffic controller in our, our listing audience. Can you do that? Can you refuse to let him land? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that's <laughs> Mount Ida, too close to missiles. Switching her gun. That's a that's a the uh, uh, Top Gun. Uh, oh, when okay. before Iceman uh, put uh, the plane into a flat spin and Goose died because you yeah. know Goose is dead. No. Yeah. Uh, the home run call, by the way, is Alexander the Great trots mm. around. There you go. Okay. There he is. That's what he said? Ah. Uh, here is uh, Emmett in Springdale on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. The real question is, will Mandy Hunt be courtside at USC each night with her hands up in the defensive ball guarding position? No. 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 In fact, the uh, scuttlebutt uh, is, you know, hypothetically, that uh, uh, that money may be back in play for Arkansas with this uh, particular possible move. Yes. You know, if Hunter had any um, huevos, he'd just fire him. <laughs> I, that's what I would have done. I mean, it you know what? You don't want to work here? Get out. Been, look, you get on that plane, and this is done. You, you, if you but walk you out that se- door, You owe him 70% over. of what you owe him. So, I mean, then there's the buyout. Yeah, you don't want you to wanna, you wanna win, you wanna score points with your fans, fire him. People would be like, Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't want to be here, get out. And then he's left holding the bag, living under a bridge and uh, you know, uh, you know, on the on the I five or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there it is. All right. Are you ready for a crazy question? No. Okay, we won't do it. No, go ahead. No, I, no, no, no. Go, I don't want to I don't want fire away. Listen, you're an old man. I can't agitate you like this. I Wait mean you, you're okay, gonna first of all, I'm not that old. But go ahead. You're the same yeah, age as uh, one of the guys we looked at today. Who was it? Uh, Chris Beard. You're the same age as Chris Beard. Fire away. What's your what's No, your no, I don't, no, 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 no. I, I, I want to know. I no, can't, no, no. I want to know. But I can't work you up like this because you I mean you're gonna. It's gonna no, be a problem. I, I promise that I will keep it on an even. Case. You promise? I promise. Will you raise your right hand? 
I promise. I pro- okay. I promise to keep it on an even keel. TQ, you're a witness to this? All right, fire okay. away. Uh, here's a text on the McCordian hotline. If Musk leaves, mm-hmm. does Arkansas go after NATO? Oh, good. What is wrong with you? He's in the final four, man. Are you okay? Is that little beeper going to go off? Yeah, like Stanley, yeah, yeah, like Stanley beep, my heart monitor is going to go beep, off. Beep. What goes through your head before you hit send? <laughs> Seriously. Hey, hey, what, Maybe what, I can what? make Zach mad if I send this text. Really? Like, <laughs> you think Phil Jackson come to Arkansas? Costa Rica? Stop it. Just because you know who he is doesn't mean he's coming. <laughs> Just stop. Again, Alabama has their NIL in order. They have access to funds and players. They have more than 500 members right. of the collective. Oh, God, you can't say that out loud. He said it out loud. I heard it. My simply, ears. Simply. On this air, he said that. not say that out loud. Uh, it's unbelievable. Lie. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, here's one. I'll field this one. You okay. you can you can uh, yeah, pause you. for a moment. Uh, Chris and Fort Smith, any thoughts on Will Wade? I love him. Do it. Oh, sure, I got plenty of thoughts on Will Wade. Make the deal happen. Do it. Everything he did is now legal. True. So he could do it. So go for it. He committed no uh, no crimes. Well, he did commit a crime. He wound up on an FBI wiretap. Yeah, but he wasn't convicted of anything. No. Those charges were dropped. Or they, they, were there even charges brought? Well, he, he sort of fended them off. Good. I like his creativity. Okay. Then Bring had, him on. I mean, he had a good year at McNeese State. I would formally like to put my uh, – I, I would like to back Will Wade. If we can't get Kim Mulkey, let's get Will Wade. That's what I say. Paul in Fort Smith says, let's get Pat Riley. Guyman says, bring Nolan out of retirement. What's Coach K up to, according to Graham? <laughs> hey, hey, to their credit, they haven't brought anybody up that's dead yet. So that's yeah, that's, right. that's, 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 that's improvement. I mean, a couple of those are close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the great question here. Is the Arkansas slush fund big enough to make a strong-ass offer? If you hire Will yeah. Wade. Oh, yeah. Oh, we get the strong ass offer t shirts in all oh, the stores. My gosh, It'd be awesome. You make a, that right there. You hire Will Wade, yeah. you get your strong ass offer t shirts. Yeah. You got your NIL fund. There you go. You, look, I watched people pay $30 for t shirts at a recent event I went to. $30. They'll do it. Oh, a long sleeve, strong ass offer t shirt. Yeah, that's right. I'd buy it all day. Yeah, make that's it red, right. white lettering. Yeah. 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 Uh, House Farm is asking about Patino. Uh, the problem with Patino is it's all night games because vampires can't go out during the we day. Have a, we have a quality Italian restaurant that he can go to. We have several, okay. yes. All yes. Right. Well, that's what he likes. So um, Here it is for the first time at yep. 5.11 p.m. Corey V. Bob Huggins. Oh, he is available. Seven. <laughs> no. You want him on a forever flight. That's right. Yes. <laughs> yes. I would like to push him out the back of a C-130. <laughs> I make no qualms about that. Yes. <sighs> oh man, it's. it's... I have uh, a... here's a suggestion for Bobby Knight. We finally suggested All a right, dead guy. Congratulations, right. yeah, Bobby's no longer. We have first. completed the uh, the bingo card on the uh, coaching. We've come full circle. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Well done. Hey, we're proud of you. Uh, oh Lord. Second. Uh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Man. What else? Um, uh, here is uh, Dan in Mount Ida. Fayetteville doesn't have enough hair oil for Rick Patino. Fair. No. That's a good point. Plus, when the band played the Godfather theme, you get mad again, like 20, some, 30 <laughs> years ago, whatever it was. Uh, man. Yeah. Uh, Ethan and Atkins says John Cheney. <laughs> I'll kill you. I'll kill you. <laughs> I saw somebody on the internet like, well, what about Coach Zimmerman? I'm like, you know what? He's happy right where he is. He's happy. He's living. The, man, he is living his best life. Yeah, he'd have even more authority to scream at Hutch if he was the head coach. It'd be great. He he is living his best life right now. His best. Sorry. Uh-huh. That's twice I've spilled yeah, the tea on that. Yeah, I apologize. Yeah, don't do that. I'm very sorry. Um, let's see. What else? Promote Michael Musselman. <laughs> All right, look. <laughs> Listen, one more outburst like that from you clowns. I'm going to turn this car around and we are going home. DQ, Nepo baby, uh, for uh, for your uh, for your college head coach. What do you think? Maybe. Maybe. No. God. 
I mean, I, Ronnie's a Nepo baby too. No, he's not. Ron, he, can, he is. No, he is not. I mean, no, he is not. Ron, Ronnie, yeah, this yes, is, he is. Ron, Ronnie's dad never coached in college. It doesn't matter. He's he got still the a Nepo job baby. on his own merit because he ran a very good AAU program. Ronnie can coach. Maybe, this, maybe Michael Musselman can coach. Give him the job. What do we care? <laughs> All right, we're done here. Ugh. I'm sitting in the floor now. I can't deal with this anymore. I, I... <laughs> oh, God. What on earth are you possibly thinking? Digger uh, Phelps. No, stop. Is he alive? Uh, that's a great question. DQ, would you uh, Google Digger Phelps for me? I should know that. <sighs> Man. Yes. Dig Digger Phelps. Hey, right. He's alive. 82. All right. All right. All right. Way what, to go, Richard. What about Nick Nolte? Oh, Pete Bell himself. Yeah, get get Pete Bell. <laughs> I hate all of you. <laughs> I hate all of you. <laughs> uh, now they're now they're just trying to piss me off. How about AI Eddie Sutton? No, no. All right, but Gus Mal's on. Here we go. Wimp Sanderson still alive. Good Jack. Probably be at the Final Four this weekend. I would Good imagine if he's Jack. able to be there. Technically, the guy they got is a nepo baby. Who? The the guy who's leaving. Oh yeah. Now, what's Jim Beheim up to? He is okay. Can I be honest with you? Yes, please. He was doing some of the uh, tournament games at the first four. Uh huh. And like you couldn't hear him. Mm. Like he's so soft spoken. He's like they need yeah. to get the wall and cling here. Right well, now. like you got to tur- either turn his mic up or was, have him eat the microphone. He was never a screamer. Uh, well, then they got to gotta, they got to adjust. Yeah, it. I could barely something. hear him. I wanted to hear what he had to say. You could barely hear him. Uh, here's somebody asking, and this is not not a great question, but is there another Hurley brother? Yeah, Bobby. Bobby's out. What at Arizona State? Yeah, Arkansas ends up with Fredo Hurley. That's right. Yeah, the third <laughs> Hurley, the, yes. the Hurley you've never heard of. <laughs> yeah, they call him He's like, like Billy Baldwin. This, this is the way this goes. Are you the third Hurley? <laughs> yeah. Uh, can I sell you some insurance? No, we like you to come be our basketball, but I'm not a I'm not a coach. <laughs> That's fine. You're a Hurley. You're fine. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, here's uh, David texting in on the McClarty Daniel hotline. <laughs> <laughs> USC is a bleephole school in a bleephole neighborhood in a bleephole city in a bleephole state run by a bleephead governor. Musk is crazy to even think about going. What I said, he just said it better. <laughs> More succinct. Right. He, you know, he, he got it down into like three sentences. <laughs> I t- I tap. There go, David. I tap danced around the bleep hole part of it. David, you have a uh, uncanny knack for cutting through the bull crap. I appreciate that I'm, very uh, much. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that David has been to the campus. It sure sounds that way. Yeah, it is. A and it doesn't sound like he's voting for Gavin Newsom anytime Ooh, soon either. <laughs> but David, I you know I I feel uh, having uh, read your text that you're having a problem expressing yourself. You should really work on that. Right. Whew. You know what's uh you know what's mm-hmm. working against uh, uh Musselman? Mm-hmm. Um the uh the athletic director out there is a woman, uh Jennifer Cohen. Yep. And women, as we all know, are far better decision makers than men. Yeah. And so uh yeah. she's probably like really going, you know, drilling deep on this. And it's like, I don't know if I want this guy working around here. Well, <laughs> we'll see. Well, you know, we'll we'll see. We'll we'll find out soon enough. But wo- women are much better decision makers than men. So uh, yeah. you know he can't he, he can't just push her around like he did your check here. You know driving the bus and all that stuff. Um, also, John Ritter went to USC. Did you know that? Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, they've got a nice list of alumni. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They got a few, especially in the uh, the acting game. Goose, Anthony Edwards. Yep. Okay. Goose is dead. I know. Uh, Lavar Burton, from Reading Rainbow. Really? Roots. I didn't know he went there. Star Trek The okay. Next Generation. All right. Yeah. Did not know that he went Could have been the Jeopardy host, but the uh, internet campaign failed back mm, in the yeah. two years ago. Yeah. If someone, wow. if one more person sends a Coach <laughs> Carter text, I'm throwing this microphone. I'm, I'm turning you, the ta- cameras turn, off. I will turn the, ca- I will I'm turn the camera around. off. We, I will turn this car around. We get one more Coach Carter, I'm turning the camera off. I'm telling you right now. So just know that. Know that going yeah. in. Golly. You know, I'm turning the camera off in protest. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. It's, I love the Scott Drew text. Why would he come here? He won a national title there. This is a startup. No. Yeah, you have four guys on the roster, and there's no guarantee they're going to be here when you get here. But you get to build the uh, the uh, roster in your own image. Uh-huh. Now, Abner says Very his appealing. wife is an awful decision maker. 
Plus, they just built a new gym for him in uh, at Baylor. Yeah, and we can't even get this one renovated right. here for Musselman. So, I mean, that's uh, that's a bit of a problem too. So, I don't know. I do like him a lot, though. Oh, he's, Scott Drew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's got a ring. Yes, he does. So, yeah, it's a bubble championship, but it still counts. It counts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Ken Reeve. Did someone just send the White Shadow? Yeah. Oh, they did. Good. good wow. Lord. I felt uh. that. Gosh. Well, when LeBron fires Darvin Ham, he'll be available. <laughs> that's I mean, right. When he does it. Yeah, you, that's right. Always, golly, what is with you guys? This is so fun. You can play out <laughs> any scenario you want. It's like if you won the Powerball, what would you do? Which, by the way, another drawing tonight. It's over a billion. Is it really? Yeah, nobody oh, wow. won the one. Well, no yeah. one won the big one uh, the other night. I was watching a video. 1.09 billion. The guy that won the 2 billion, uh, yeah. he's already broke. That's, that's, How in the that's world? bad for him. How in the world? All right. He bought a forty-seven million dollar mansion. Can afford it, but the property taxes killed him. He bought like five of them. It's like, yeah. man, what are you doing? Buy a one right. bedroom. <sighs> yeah. I've been challenged with Coach Carter. It says on the McCarty Hotline, Shut and you off. won't turn it off, good sirs. You don't have a hair on your ass. Right. Shut it off. Here you go. Good night. There it is. Turn yep. it off. Yep, we did. Shutting it off. I'll show you. You whippersnapper, you. All right, we turned the cameras off. We got it. We got it, Coach Carter. We're not doing it anymore. I, I refuse. Out of protest. Wow. Draw that little P in a circle like they do the <laughs> do umpires do. Protest. Wow, the Yankees blew that lead in the 10th. It's 4-4 again. Good. Wow. How about that? Good. That makes me happy. Way to go, D-backs. I like it. Hey, how are the uh, DQ? How are the Rockies doing? Yeah, DQ. They're bad. <laughs> yeah, they are. They, they are terrible. Uh, they they're not they're not a good team. No, are they still in Chicago? Uh, yes. Play the play the Cubbies. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. I re- I, won't, I refuse to participate the rest of the day over the Coach Carter text. I'm not doing it. Okay. I don't have to. I, I mean, my my mental health is at stake here. What about me? <laughs> All right. <laughs> not doing it. Okay. Um, my dad says the viewer count went up when the cameras went off. You know what? It did. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Maybe we're doing this wrong. If we have blank cameras going all day, we'd set it'd be through the roof. Yeah, bro. Yeah. We, <laughs> and every now and then we just give them a little peekaboo. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You. Oh my gosh. Oh man. All yeah. right. Well, he loves this show. So there you go. What about Jimmy Carter? Still I mean, with that us. could have been who they were referring to, was Coach Carter. Yeah. DQ's very happy that he's Maverick still alive. Carter. Yeah, why not? Vince Carter. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Carter. I did read um the guy, uh, someone mentioned uh, uh Lamar Ball. I, I did read there's an article for, Oh my gosh. For reasons that are not clear to me, CBS Sports reached out to him today. Yeah. He's and, blaming uh blaming shoes. He, for, shoes and he, and, he and blamed, trainers. He blamed because when his kids were training with him, they were like running up and down hills. And he says in the NBA the training is not tough. They're using all those rubber bands and stuff, and yeah. that's why everybody gets hurt. And then he blamed the shoes. Yeah, he blamed the shoes. He <laughs> called them a bad name, but uh, yeah, he blamed the shoes for his kids' injuries. Does he? Does he? Is he saying that the big baller brand shoes were better than? Uh... I think he's trying to. Uh... <laughs> now, didn't they get an F by the Better Business Bureau? Yeah, nobody. The, the the real people bought them, and nobody. They never got anything. Yeah. Like... Uh, Paid three hundred bucks for these things, and they never showed up. <laughs> It's impossible to get a, uh, a an F rating from uh, from the uh, from the Better Business. Bureau. He did it. Though. He did it though. I mean, first first person on earth. <sighs> All right. Why do, does Lamar does Lamar Ball have a podcast? Because I would listen to that. He's nuts. Oh, he's insane. <laughs> and he's you just got to get somebody in there who can just feed him little tidbits and then just let him go. And then all of a sudden. You know, it, it's just game on. I'm trying to find the part about the shoes. Yeah, he had, he had a night. Oh wow! <sighs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, he um, it's um, it's not good. But I would uh, I would watch him. I would listen to a podcast with that guy. He's a uh, he is crazy. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. We we have we have breaking news. Uh oh, did it happen? No. Oh no, no, no. Okay. No, not nothing important, but hold on. This okay. this may be Oh boy. Stand by. So today's Phillies Reds game got rained out. Yeah. They were going to schedule 
the doubleheader for tomorrow. However, Citizens Bank, Citizens Bank Park is booked tomorrow, which was the Reds Phillies day off for a wedding. <laughs> Great. They booked a wedding during the month that is known for showers. Bold, bold strategy. So, so now the Reds have to travel back to, to back to Cincinnati on their off day to play a single game against the Phillies because they can't get it in. Wow. Well, there you go. So they get they can't uh, they can't play. No. Okay. That's great. Well. Oh, DQ, why would <laughs> help me understand? You're smart. Why would you book a wedding at a baseball diamond? Maybe someone's a fan. Or they're both fans. Or they met at the game. Or they met at the game. They fell in love Ooh, in the hot propose, dog stand. Did they propose on the big screen? Ooh, DQ didn't like that. That's pretty bad. Yeah. It's cringe. It's so embarrassing. You know what we should do? It really is. Just turn our cameras off, but just turn hers on. Well, that's what we've done right now. Oh, they're, they're looking at her? Yes. Okay. She's in the middle, and then they're, the two boxes with our Wait. cameras are, are blank. Yeah, DQ, where are you currently? What's, uh, what's Oh, it's just the background. Oh, come on. Nothing exotic. Can you get, like, the, you get, like Mars or you yeah, know, Mars or you know, the space <laughs> shuttle or something like that? That would be great. Jesse and Mountain Home texted in on the McCarty Dinner Hotline. Who the hell rents an entire baseball stadium for a saying. wedding? The Idle Rich. That's who. That seems really Oh, weird. DQ's at the Amazonic now. Look oh, at that. There we go. All right. Oh, Stall yeah. 47. Here we go. That's right. Yeah, you go, girl. Somebody's about to get their butt kicked out <laughs> <up> there. <laughs> Bailey in Denver. Is Ruskin getting married at Bomb? No. Okay. We asked. No. They, they said, said no. no. <laughs> they said they didn't just say no. They said hell no. <laughs> get out of here. They said, don't know. <laughs> New phone. Who dis? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, pause here for a moment. And um, uh, maybe we'll end our protest. But I highly doubt that coming up here in a moment. On Ruskin and Zach. It is uh, 25 after the hour. Your drive home powered by Mr. Sparky. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. 866-285-4005. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. Hey, here's a question. After you wear your clothes, you toss them in the washing machine, right? Nobody wants to wear dirty clothes. So how come you don't throw your shoes in the washing machine when they get dirty? I mean, come on. Your shoes are touching the filthy ground all day long. Gross. But with Skechers, you can because most Skechers are machine washable. That's right. Skechers are specially made so you can toss them right in the washing machine and keep them clean and looking new. And when they look new, you can confidently wear them longer. That's less shoes you're going to want to throw away, which means less waste. And it'll save you tons of dough. I love that. Plus, machine washable Skechers are for the whole family, men, women, and kids. So when your kids get their shoes dirty, oh, and we know they will, just wash them. Brilliant. And even our latest technology, New hands-free Skechers slip-ins are washable. You just step right in and go without bending down or even touching your shoes. So give your Skechers the same treatment you give your clothes. Just toss them in the washing machine and keep them looking brand spanking new. Buy machine washable Skechers at a Skechers store, Skechers.com, or wherever stylish footwear happens to be sold. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hug, Chuck. Welcome to McClarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McClarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McClarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. Spring camping season is here. Don't miss the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th at 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway in Rogers behind Nukes. Sponsored by two of the state's largest RV dealers, Wheels RV and Moix RV. With brands you love like Grand Design, Jayco, Brinkley, Flagstaff, Coachman Catalina, Vibe, and Winnebago. On-site financing available plus food trucks, a variety of vendors, and bounce house for the kids. Make plans to attend the NWA RV Show and Outdoor Party April 13th and 14th. 5102 West Pauline Whitaker Parkway, Rogers. Hi, this is Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing and Construction. That small roofing company my father started 45 years ago has now become one of the largest roofing companies in America by following one rule, the golden rule. No one can install a better roof at a better price, a better warranty than Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Let our local family serve your family. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call today or visit us online at shamrockroofer.com. 
eBay Motors is here for the ride. 120,000 miles of night drives, daily commutes, and who knows how many. Are we there yet? Through countless fixes, elbow grease, and a new radiator, you kept your ride alive. With eBay Motors, you have over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Precision Overhead Door features the finest quality materials, installation, and service for all of your overhead door needs. Fully licensed and insured with locations in Rogers and Fort Smith, serving all of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Give them a call today at 844-PDS-DOOR or online at PrecisionDoorNWA.com. And congratulations to the team of Precision Overhead Door, back-to-back winners of the Best of Award, Gold Best Garage Company in Northwest Arkansas, and also winners of the River Valley Precision Overhead Door. Electrical work can be dangerous. Don't let a do-it-yourself mistake lead to a bigger problem. Mr. Sparky's highly trained electricians can handle all of your electrical needs, guaranteeing that your job will be completed safely and within code compliance. Trust the experts at Mr. Sparky. We'll leave your home even safer than we found it. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. The madness continues at Mad Rooster Beer Company in Fayetteville. Mad Rooster brews high-quality, innovative beer selections, including IPAs, stouts, fruited sours, and seltzers across their 30 taps. Mad Rooster has eight big screens and key game audio, so you won't miss a single minute of the action. Don't settle for an ordinary watch party when you can experience all the madness at Mad Rooster. Mad Rooster Beer Company, brewed locally in Fayetteville at 1107 Southwest Avenue. Are you ready to upgrade your ride? Head on over to McClarty Daniel Country. McClarty Daniel has over a thousand used cars to choose from, so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget. With six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale, you're never too far away from a great deal. But that's not all. If you're looking for something brand new, they've got you covered there too with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to McClarty Daniel and drive away in the car of your dreams. Online at McClarty Daniel. Sign Studio builds indoor and outdoor video displays in all sizes for any application, from 1 to 1,000 covering all the United States. Sign Studio displays are full color and high resolution with cloud-based or on-site content management. Sign Studio can manufacture custom sizes and shapes of flexible or rigid screens with live video display or scheduled content display. Visit yoursignstudio.com or call 479-250-4844. 479-250-4844. Hello, folks. I'm Chief Meteorologist RV Body. The 4029 Get Ready Weather Forecast. Well, that wind we had all day today will calm down a little bit as we go throughout the night. And we'll be waking up the temperatures near freezing in northwest Arkansas tomorrow morning. So a chilly start to our Thursday in the Thursday afternoon. Now, wind will pick back up a little bit, but uh, we'll just call it breezy, normal breezy on Thursday with sunshine. A little bit warmer. High temperatures in the low 60s. Dropping back to near freezing Friday morning. But even warmer for Friday afternoon with highs back in the upper 60s with mostly sunny skies. That's your Get Ready Weather only on 4029. ESPN 99.5. Live across Arkansas, this is Ruskin and Zach. Oh, my God. Someone suggested Donnie Tindall. Oh, buddy. You remember Reverend Tindall? Uh, Tennessee. Oh yeah, he looked a lot like. Uh, oddly, he looked a lot like um, the uh, the guy uh, Heupel. Got that puffy face, and you know, got, got kind of pastor vibes going on there. Pastor vibes. Yeah, you know, like okay, that's who you need to rally the base. You need mm-hmm. a, you need someone that's, the, that's uh, you know can can move some people to you know yeah, yes, or whatever. Is what that's right. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, let's see here. Now, here's someone that just wants beer just to make Mississippi mad. That spite is a great reason yep. to get a coach. Yep. Out of Pennsylvania. All right. Yeah, we've go. uh we've received some texts from some very odd places. Today. We are nationally known. We, I, I think we dot probably more than half of the states in this country. That's a sad commentary. We've hit all the states. Have we? All yeah. Right. All of them. All the fifty states. Okay. That's what we've done. All right. 
let's uh, check on uh, this uh, yeah. day's. Uh, now, entries. do we have? Do we are we in the final four tomorrow? We we're have. Doing the two we're, we're doing the final four okay, tomorrow, right. and then the championship on all right. Friday. All right, your Ruskin and Zach X polls brought to you by Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. Four seven nine two two five eighty eight zero nine for all of your heat and air needs. This is the other stuff bracket. The final uh, matchups of the Elite Eight. Uh, do you like a non-smoking section or brunettes? Who the who's already qualified for the final four? Football and thin crust pizza are in the final four. Is that a semifinal matchup? I think so. Okay, I may reseed them. Okay, uh, non-smoking section I'm in or charge. brunettes. Eighty point four percent of you said brunettes. Uh, do you like hamburgers or showering in the morning? Fifty-seven and a half percent of you like a good burger. Uh, soft pretzels. Do you want salt or mustard on this? This was a debate at my house last night. 63.6% of you say salt only, which is the correct answer. Uh, have you ever used the seven button on your microwave? 77.4% of you said no. I have. Your Ruskin and Zach X pulls no more microwave talk. Uh, <laughs> brought to you by Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale, 479 8809 I can't take any more microwave talk. Have I know you, that Have you, you ever used the seven button? No. Really? Nope. Why not? No, that's what started the whole thing. I'm like, I, I'm sitting, I use one, two, or three. It's 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, you don't a minute. Use five? Two. No. What? Look, if I put like 45 seconds? No. We got him into it. We tricked him into microwave talk. Yeah. God, I hate there are things you. that require you to microwave them for 45 seconds. Yeah, and I can hit a minute and then just watch it. Stop it. That's boring. Let the machine that's do the work. That's why the microwave has this. a timer. I don't want to talk about this. This is stupid. We talk about stupid stuff all the time. This is the more stupidest. Can I say one more thing? No. I don't trust the timer on the microwave because I think that it's going to work like the microwave is going to, you know, turn on. You know, like the clock timer, it counts down and it'll just beep. You know, you set it for like 10 minutes. I'm slightly convinced the microwave will be on for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so i don't use it what a, day. <laughs> what a day same with the oven thing you don't trust your you don't kitchen trust appliances your not that uh, part. what kind of world do we live in not when that you can't part. trust your kitchen appliances that's rough Ugh. oh man <laughs> you got gas or electric over there dq appliances you don't know um Tell you what, go home tonight, turn your oven on, and then light a match. You'll know I don't, real quick. <laughs> I don't have to. Uh... You don't know if you. Oh, my God. I think it's electric, but it's the the regular grate. The regular grates. electric. Yeah. Does right. that make sense? Yeah, regular electric. Yeah. It's not Um, it's, it's not, not like glass. It's, it's not a glass top. Stove. It's not 221. It's 220. <laughs> regular electric. I don't know. We had we had a electric stove at the farm. But it was a glass top stove, so now I have a non glass top stove. Is there a is there a blue flame when you no? Cook? Then it's not gas. Okay. Okay. Aren't the gas stoves illegal? No. Well, we don't want to go down this road. You talk no. about the microwave deal. You were talking no, about the gas illegal. stove deal. Holy lord, <laughs> boy! Uh, text for the four seven nine. Y'all are making me go outside my comfort zone this evening. I'm going to use the seven on my microwave. Good for you, man. Mm. Do you Live your truth. Here's South Korea texting in. Uh, do we trust the popcorn button to fully no. cook? No, no, absolutely no. not. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. It'll no. cook it for two thirty, which is not how long you cook popcorn for. Now here's a question: Does anybody have one of those lids that goes over your plate that keeps crap from splattering all over the microwave? That's I have called an a paper towel. Uh, no, <laughs> no, it, no. Mine's an IKEA one. Oh well, by God, excuse us. Yeah, got that right. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Do you have a That's drawer? Fancy. Do you have a drawer microwave too? No. Uh, no. <laughs> As someone who has looked all through Zach's kitchen one time, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, what were you looking for in there? I was trying to find supplies to make some sandwiches. Yeah. Oh, for the sales. Staff. So I was trying to <laughs> find all of the things I needed to make. Right. A DQ yeah. low point when she had to prepare right. food, food for, for fellow employees. <laughs> I got to hang out at Zach's house for a yeah. while well, you, <laughs> during you the actually, work day. You, now, wait a minute. Wait uh -huh. a minute. I've never asked this, but did you sit on the forbidden couch? Did you? Did you? <laughs> you put your ass on my couch? <laughs> did you? No. I'm not going to answer. She does not confirm or deny. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't sit on the love seat. Nobody sits on the love seat. I probably had the sheet off of it because Kinsey was uh, at home that day. Oh, no. Yeah. 
that love seat has been set upon. I have to burn it. I have, <laughs> I have to burn well, it. Well, wait till they fire. Wait till, but... wait till must leaves, then burn it. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'll take it outside. People <laughs> will be like, oh, you too? All right, cool, man. <laughs> oh, I have also looked for burglars. Yeah, yeah. I both. have looked through yeah. all of Zach's house before. Yeah, pretty much. Really interesting. Even right? that um that weird closet where yep. all the movie not yep. no, hold on. They're not movies. No. no. The basketball and football films. Yes. Not the weird yep. closet with the movies. I like to I refer to it as my <laughs> mistress. Yes. Did you find anything interesting? Did you find my glasses? No. All right. They're at the optometrist waiting for you to order them. That's where your glasses I had are. this conversation last night about uh, the optometry and um I need a bootleg guy to do it for me because oh, I just want a back alley eye yeah, doctor. I don't trust modern medicine. So, oh my God. <laughs> you think we could pro? We 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 have a dynamite uh, detonator. Can we procure one of those eye things with all the little Boy, knobs on fun, them? Wouldn't it? That would chart be fun. We'll give you an eye exam right here. Oh, a yeah. chart we, we, would be easy. We've given a haircut in here before, and that's right. illegal. Melinda so. wants to do it again if anybody needs their haircut. Uh, Melinda wants I'm getting to come close. In. Are you? Okay. Yeah, it's about right. that time. It's starting to fall down all the time. Okay. And I don't like that. All right. So I like it to stay up. We can make that happen. We get that. Oh, here we go. Uh, the NCAA has launched an investigation into St. John's head coach Rick Pitino for alleged tampering with players not yet in the transfer portal. Uh, mm. Pitino offered NIL deals to multiple high-profile Big East players uh, while still on their respective rosters. Wow. Like but, you know, like there's a 100 coaches doing that. They just decided uh, to pick on Rick Pitino. No, make an example it's, it's of it. from a fake. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh well, that's too bad. That's fine. I believe it. Just have. Oh yeah, I believe that happened. I believe that. I believe ah. anything you tell me. Hmm. All right. Let's see here. Twenty minutes until the hour here. No news. We did that. No, no, did no, 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 no. DQ. I mean, you're outside of their, no, their social media. No, not from account. USC. Okay. And they would be the. They'd be the first one to announce it. Okay. I'm also watching Musselman's bio, mm. so I know what it says. Okay. It says okay. Arkansas's head coach. So should it, it change? It says Arkansas. Well, oh, it coach? says on on Twitter, it says University of Arkansas's men's basketball. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So there you go. We are all over it. Okay, we'll uh, step out here for a minute and uh, find out uh, what we learned coming up right after this. This is Ruskin and Zach. I did have a delivery of a bunch of long wood yesterday. <laughs> ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline to join the local conversation on ESPN Arkansas. 866-285-4005. McClarty Daniel has a vehicle to fit both your style and budget. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, you're never too far from a good deal. Visit McClartyDaniel.com to find your next ride. Find your next ride with McClarty Daniel at a price you'll love. Join the conversation on ESPN Arkansas at 866-285-4005. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hi, Tommy Kraft here for QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades, regenerative medicine. If you're tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics right now. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics using your body's power to repair and restore damaged tissue. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about exciting options. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you long-term relief with no downtime, no drugs, and no surgery. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation, 479-999-1234, 479-999-1234, for QC Kinetics. Discover your dream pool at Burton Pools and Spas. Dive into our massive outdoor pool showroom, one of the largest in the nation. Conveniently situated off I-49 in Springdale, the Burton Pools and Spas showroom features 10 stunning in-ground pool installations, eight distinct fiberglass pool models, discounts up to $12,000. Visualize your backyard oasis before making your commitment and get ready for a splashing summer. At Burton, we don't just build swimming pools, we build long-term relationships. The smarter guys at Spiff Plumbing and HVAC are feeling spring in the air. 
I'm advising customers to get their spring air conditioning tune-up. That means no funny noises the first day you turn on the air and it doesn't get cool. But I don't recommend it. Huh? I recommend the Stiss Shield Protection Plan. All plan members get that spring AC tune-up and a fall heating system tune-up, plus two safety inspections each year. In Stiss 85 point whole system performance report. Good point. For protection plan members, the spring tune-up is included. Call 751-9691 or online at stithplumbingandhvac.com. Tune in next time to hear Zach say... The spring AC tune-up is included for Stiss Shield protection plan members. On the next episode of The Smarter Guys at Stith Plumbing and HVAC. Your Mach 1 Market Moment. And inflation is something we've been talking about for a long, long, long time. It's trickling into 24. It's still here. Yeah. You know, it's it's a different conversation than it was a year ago. You know, and I like this, how are Americans feeling? Yeah. You know, we see clients in our office every day, all ages, demographics. And I would say that there might be a slight tick up in optimism, but, you know, there, there's still some pessimism. Oh, there. for sure. Some, some concern. I mean, I, here in Northwest I just had a conversation with a client yesterday that they were like, things everything's so expensive yeah just the basics of going to the grocery store and you walk out with two bags and it was 150 bucks and that's a very real thing that getting the basics and trying to get by day to day and it's costing a lot of money these days to do that visit mach1fg.com to hear the whole conversation and get your investment questions answered for full disclosures visit mach-1financial.com forward slash disclosure Hey y'all, it's Melinda at Fantasy Sports Cuts. You know, Fayetteville's hair joint for men. Did you know your haircut can accentuate features about your face you may not like? That's why you need Fantasy Sports Cuts. We'll work with you to create the perfect look for you. If your current barber isn't cutting it, come see us at Fantasy Sports Cuts. We'll have you leaving feeling like a winner. And we all like winners. Book your appointment today at Fantasy Sports Cuts, where the winning look can be found. Fantasy Sports Cuts, Fayetteville's hair joint for men and your little men in training at Mission and Crossover in the Hart Shopping Center. We'll see y'all there. Welcome to McClarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McClarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McClarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. We don't read the headlines. We make the headlines. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitThatLine.com. Kevin on YouTube says, Woj is going to break the news. <laughs> That'd be funny. That would be funny. A Woj bomb on USC basketball. Maybe they get a twofer. Maybe uh, they do convince uh, Bronny James to come back. I don't know. You never know. I don't know. Uh, all righty. It's uh, Ruskin and Zach. Oh, there's no news, by the way. No. no uh, we're waiting here to see. Uh, maybe uh, USC is getting cold feet about this whole situation. I don't know. It's. I don't not, know. It's not even 3 o'clock out there. It's three forty seven. Three forty seven. Yeah, I thought there were three hours back. Hey, it's all. It's not even four o'clock. <laughs> Settle down. We get a four o'clock news dump. Yeah, <laughs> it could happen at five. They may wait uh, till maybe. you know all of us go home. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm not coming back. By the way. Oh no, 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 no. no. I'm going to a track meet. Oh, good. Yeah, the kid finished third. Triple mm. jump, DQ. Triple jump, podium. Yeah. And head out. I don't know what I don't know what's good or bad. You give me your distance. Hey, don't uh, don't tell her this. But you know the only thing worse than track hmm. field. <laughs> well, she's well, she can't run track because she's slow as a tortoise. But, oh, I um, see. She she's in the field portion of it. She's shot putting and um and triple, triple jumping. jumping. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. So she struck out on a, on high jump, the Fosbury flop. Uh yeah, yeah. that uh, she ran into the bar the first time That's not and good. decided that really wasn't for her. Right. So. All right. Yeah. Well, best of luck. Uh, the best part was her uh, her track coach. The first time she met him to do the uh, the triple jump, she was wearing a uh, pretty identifiable hoodie. 
mm-hmm. and she goes, I knew you were in arms. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, your reputation precedes you, I see. Right, yes. That's that's my girl. Uh, DQ, what did you learn today? Okay, I don't mean to seal your thing on like doing today in okay. history. Yeah. Yes, you do. But on April 3rd in 1919, a Yankee center fielder beat an ostrich in a pasta eating contest. <laughs> Just out of curiosity. His name days. was Ping Bodhi. Just out of curiosity, Ping. Where did you find that? The Panger. Well, I look on the Today I Learned subreddit okay. every day for my facts. Mm. And that was that was one of them. Okay. Yep. Um, I feel like both of you would fall into this category. A new study out says that ninety percent of people will fake laugh when they don't understand what someone said to them. Oh, absolutely. Really? I if you, you repeat it once, and if I don't get it the second time, I just laugh. Okay. I'm not asking again. Oh, I know you do it. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes I will be honest and I'll say, I'm sorry, I still do not know what you're I've saying. I've never heard you say that. I've known you four years. I've never heard you say that. Well, well four years. If you, oh. if you hit someone with the fake laugh and then you look stupid. <laughs> ah, that's good. That's good. That's somebody that passed away. You're like, that. <laughs> yeah, that's, right. that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's weird. It was, it right? was an eight wow. car pileup. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. There you go. that's, whoops. That's not great. Uh, before mine, I, I want to get this text in from Randy mm. on the McCarty Dino hotline. Okay. Fire his ass. Oh. Go get a coach that can make game time adjustments. Well, he could be back tomorrow. I mean, you don't know. Keep his ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's still under contract. I learned that uh, it was 28 years ago today that uh, the feds arrested Kaczynski, yeah. the Unabomber. Yeah. That's it. Uh, also, on the same day, uh, Ron Brown is killed in a uh, jet crash. In the mountains. Was he? Oh, that's in Croatia. That's what they claim. Was he? He was about to fink on the Clintons, and there's some theories on. Oh, no, there's no theory. No, the autopsy said. So they <laughs> caught the Unabomber the same day, so no one would pay attention to that. You think? Yeah. Weird, right? Yeah, how about yeah, that? Crazy. Yeah. Huh. That is something. That's nuts. That is one big pile of <laughs> wild, wild, wacky stuff. <laughs> crazy. A wild, wild, yeah. wacky stuff. Okay, well, that's good to know. What else we got? That's, a, that's about that pretty it. much it. Hey, Chuck will be on the show tomorrow. That should be fun. That is uh, that is going to be something. <laughs> it's going to be uh, be wild. All these people yeah. wanted him gone, and now he's going to stay. And they look like morons. <laughs> I never doubted him. I, I, I never doubted him for a minute. <laughs> None of it ever made sense. It was just <laughs> posturing. Did you just hit your lip on the microphone? I too. Oh God, do we have that on tape? We do. Oh great. Oh man, that hurt. Now you, now you need to go to a back alley dentist. Yeah, and eye doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> that wasn't great. All right. Yeah. Uh, Seth from Elk River, Texas, mm. in on the McCarty General Hotline. Where uh, is Elk River? That's um, you know, by uh, the Elk River. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> DQ, do you know where Elk River is? No. Okay. I'll look it up. If Musk does return, will there be those weirdos at the airport calling the hogs? <laughs> <sighs> oh, wow. Well. Okay. All right. Is that it? Have we done enough damage well, today? That's about, we, uh, that's can about we call all it a day? Can uh, everybody there, go home? There's not much more that no. can be said that hasn't been said. Uh, next hour, a riveting discussion on microwaves. It's better than Will Wade or Chris Beard. Our lines are open. I mean, honestly, I, I, you know what? I, I know. Remember the day we watched Paint Dry? Yeah. I yeah. I, I, did, did we ever finish that? Oh, the yeah. paint dried. They the painted. painted. <laughs> the spoiler. <laughs> the paint dry. The end. Yeah. Uh, that was a good day. God, we've done some dumb stuff around here. Why do we do this? Who thinks this is good? Better than Freddie Coleman. Is it? No. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. I was just checking. The elk is yeah. apparently in Missouri. Oh, he's a meth head. Big party float. Okay. According right. to Jamie and Faith. Oh, no, no, no. no. I know where that is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've seen some stuff. You get yeah, your I've, coolers and your... I have seen some stuff on the elk. Yeah. Oh, man. You... Woo, huh, huh. You think Lake of the Ozark is a... You know, the deba- buffalo... Debauchery. The buffalo in Tahlequah was... Ugh. Man, 
Oh. Wow. It's awesome yeah. stuff. But no, I've, been, I've, I've floated the alcohol before. Okay. That's why All I don't right. remember. It was you know, That was a good day. You know what we haven't heard on this? I saw him yeah. tweet the other day. Maybe we made him mad. Uh, we haven't heard from Fake Wally about this whole uh, he's situation. He's got a job. Oh, he does? Yeah. I he's didn't got know like that. an actual job. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. But I saw him tweet the other day, and I thought he had a good uh, thought, but we haven't heard from him. So um, maybe that'll happen one of these days. I don't know. He has a job, and, uh, and you know, it's getting 